We're live. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I am. Thanks. The weekend. Hi. Like that makes a difference. So there's about 10 seconds of a difference there. No, even less, dude. Come on. I'll do it. I'll check it there. And radio. Colin just checking to see how long uh, we are. We'll be kicking off the quiz at nine o'clock if you haven't been here before. Nine seconds. You were way off. <laughs> ten. Ten seconds? Ten nine. seconds. We'll go with ten seconds tonight. About ten seconds. Behind. What are you eating, Colin? Marshmallow. Nice. Uh, just for the people who are joining us and going, oh, just on notification. Yes, I just put in the link for the shop. Uh, tickets still on sale for tonight. Oh, Shane, well done. Oh. Oh, you're doing the quiz now? Yeah. Text me while you go. I can't do the quiz. Here he is now. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Turn on this music a small bit for myself. He's a bit loud. I've got, I've got oh. I've got two only marshmallows. I had six marshmallows and I'm on to, I've only got two left. Ooh. I went to the shop earlier and uh, just ended up getting a load of snacks again. You're a murder for the snacks. That's Kate. E. Hi, Kate. Number one fan. Uh, Michael Gainey's in, lads. He's back, Happy Friday, lads. He's back. Happy Friday. Is it? Is Probably it? Is. I don't know. See, the days don't matter anymore to me. <laughs> they don't matter, is it? Yeah, it's the same thing. I got out of the house for about an hour. My poor wife has been stuck in the house for the last six weeks. I'm sure, she's gone out twice. The house last six weeks. Huh? But like you. Mm. I will. I will tell people now. I am very. I'm very tired today. So you might get the full one. Eddie Finnegan in the house. I see Eddie bought his ticket for the old Tiger King quiz as well. Did he? Uh -huh. Big GDPR now after totally breaking the law there. So why don't you just give out his mobile number there and his email address and his home? Boys, home Boys, <laughs> 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 the, the live chat's very quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, people are rocking in. Yeah, but still, like, we're hilarious. Who do, who do, who wouldn't want another forty minutes of us chatting? Evening, lads. Leslo Penifex is in. How are you? Uh, good. Niall Gindy. Good evening, lads. How do you do? Hi, Gindy. How are we doing, bud? I'm tearing through these It's the weather. Niall Gindy is just sitting at home now, just doing TikToks all day. All right, Gint. Colin Farlong's in. Amy McMahon's in. Got a good, got a good regular crew here now. Look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna slowly but surely. I'm adding people's names to the credits. <laughs> so if you're not in, so if you're not in this week, you'll be in, you'll be in it next week. Or at some point in the future, you know. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just checking. Nine minutes before the link goes active and you'll be able to join. I've tested mm. it. It seems to all work. <laughs> it seems to. It seems to all work. I even said to, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting with it open as well, just in case it doesn't work. Hey, Peter Cairns. Peter. Hi, Peter. By the way, I haven't forgot you. He sent me a message during the week. I haven't forgot you. I'll, I'll start that over the weekend. I have. He knows what I'm talking about. Isn't that right, Pete? I don't know. Paul Custom. Hey, guys, what's the story? The story Hi, is, Paul. it's good to see you. I'm eating marshmallows, and I'm drinking beers. I had, we ate outside. We ate outside. Oh, fancy. On the veranda, is it? On the, on the veranda, indeed. The decking that is probably falling apart beneath our feet. It's the amount of sand, the amount of child, children's sand that is, is in the back garden at the moment is actually... Is, is sanding the deck and corroding it. Um, I went to um, I, I went to Smith a few months ago, and we bought a load of things. We had to buy birthday presents for other kids, 
We had to buy sand. This is before, all, you know, this whole COVID thing. And we had to buy a few different things. And I think we had to buy bedclothes, you know, or, or sheets and uh, a duvet for Robin. And uh, so we, we, we brought it all up and we, we paid for it in the section of the store with the video games because I bought a video game as well. A video game. How old do I sound? Because you're a but nerd. I know, yeah. Bedclothes and video games. That's what we bought and we ate in the veranda. But we were out there and I bought loads of things I brought home. And when we got home, I said to your man at the counter as well, and I'll take three bags of sand outside. But I, I only, when I looked at my sheet afterwards, there was me and my and, and Nathan running across the car park with bag, three bags of sand, throw them into the boot and running away. But we were running because they were heavy, you know. And uh, afterwards, when I looked at the receipt, he had never charged me for the bags of sand. So it just looked like I was robbing bags of sand from outside Smith's. For a second, it looked like. It, you it did. was. I did. I technically <laughs> robbed them. But when I you also got Smith's home, three bags of sand. I had like the big bags of uh, Smith's bags, you know, those ones that you can actually like fit into them like. And uh, yeah. I, I put him in. I put him into the car, and and then we drove home. When I got home, there was like two extra items inside the bag that I didn't pay for either. That your man had stuck in there, a play doh set and everything. So the guilt set, and then so I drove back to Smith's the next morning, and I I gave them the stuff back, and I said, "Listen, you gave me this extra yesterday," and they were like, "And you're bringing?" So like to pay three bags of sand that I took outside that she never charged me for, and your mom was like, "Can I see your receipt?" She wanted to find out the. <laughs> I just felt like ah, hung him out. Oh, you I hung won't. him out. I didn't show it at all. I didn't show it. Not one bit. I, I ate that receipt in front of her. Uh, Luigi, Luigi Ryan. Your head. He did. I'm telling you, I'm going all out. I, I, hold on. Here, here. Just now you know he's going to come back. I'll have him deleted from the screen. <laughs> Sucker. I'm in charge here, by the way. Um, sorry. Going through the messaging here from people. Right, you know, as I said, we'll be kicking off the quiz there at 9 o'clock. Um, time for you now. 25 past. 25 past. You can still purchase... The oh, wait. Wait a second. <laughs> That bitch girl masking. <laughs> I got the whole, I got the whole thing, man. I, 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 I did. That's a bit long now at the moment. I have to cut it up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to get the eyebrows painted on. I'm going to make a little video tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you this: he's buried in the septic tank. <laughs> oh lord! Get down! I'll show your butt, Colum. <laughs> Do I? God. Oh my God, that is amazing. <laughs> Don't show your butt. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then. I... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Is... Your own version of uh, the Lion King, is it? No, no, it's just me, like, you know. Yeah, I was a, I was a lion in uh, that zoo for 15 years. And uh, I just want to tell you that the stuff that went on there was a lot worse than what you saw on the screen. I'm Get coming forward. Brother. I've taken a brave step and I'm coming forward. I'm going to let you know what happened down there. And I've also got. Lazlo Panaflex. I'm going to have to binge watch the whole thing tomorrow. How many episodes are there? There's eight. Seven. Is it? Seven. Hold on, Nathan's after coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. What does your son think you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, I'll be honest with you. I, I dress up and I chat to people online <laughs> for money. You're you're dressing as Carol Baskin, you know that, don't you? I'm dropping I'm you out of my tower. Like. You don't come near my house, Colum. <laughs> I throw it out the window. <laughs> Just <laughs> try fast. <laughs> rock. I, I know, rock I, the week I, around I, the rock. Says, I look like Joe. Um not Joe. What's his name? First... John. No. Well, Joe, Joe Exotic. You do look like Joe Exotic, but uh, you look like John as well. My teeth are missing. <laughs> Can't my teeth. My teeth are missing. My teeth. I'll, oh, I'll have to find my teeth later. On. <sighs> I'm absolutely. And Rio Rojo putting the teeth again like Tuesday. No, that's for Sunday. I'm saving that one for Sunday. 
All right, I'm just going to sort out my windows here. Bart Simpson wants to know, how's the buzz going for me? I actually like it. I'll be honest with you. It's nice and cool, is it? No, no, I just, it feels so clean. You know, I feel like I had to wash my hair every day before. Now I can do it every two days if I need to, like. It's not. Wash and, I face face. and I don't have a fringe that, <laughs> I don't have the Eddie Munster fringe anymore. Oh my Lord. Did I send you on that video? Oh, I didn't. So uh, Michelle O'Connor says she wasn't sent. Uh, what? Stop making me no. yawn, Pat. Amy McMahon, you're yawning a lot. Sorry. Michelle O'Connor says she wasn't sent the link. Uh, you were see. You should have gotten two emails. One that says you've purchased this, and then the second one has a link in it. Um, if you didn't get one, Michelle, you, I see you're on Facebook. Drop me a private message. Uh, just send me a screenshot of the of your purchase. I meant to send Colm a, a, a video I took because if you go on to if you're on the Patrick Hearn YouTube and you go over the thumbnail of uh, the quiz we did the last day, <laughs> I'd have to send it to Colm just so he knows. I'll actually stick it up as well on my um. Uh, few seconds here. Oh. Colum, yeah, you sent me you sent me the wrong link for what? Remember you were sending me a link there earlier, right? You sent me a you sent me WordPress login. All right, for two seconds there, though. I'm after getting confused. Uh, what time can we log in at? It should be live Wait. in about a minute, four a minute. four minutes. I, I'm, four I'm minutes. checking it there now. I'm, everyone's after freaking me out. Are you getting the cold sweat yet, Colin? Yeah, I am. <laughs> what time can we log in? Yeah, TV yeah I, I sent you the WordPress one. Yeah. You and now I have to go back and I have to find you again on Facebook. All right, I sent you the link again. You should have had it the other, from the other day. Oh, <laughs> She's... Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> and let me log out of this thing. All right, log out. Jesus, won't let me log out. Right, that link is live. I just clicked it. Yes. Oh. Right. Uh, she said the haircutting is, is easy. You just remove the bits that shouldn't be there. <laughs> my, my God. I'd be very careful, Bart. Very careful. Right, Alan, you should be able to log yeah. in there now. What's the site you buy tickets again? No, we actually set up a new one. Um, so. Just go to event. Uh, in the chat uh, actually, the description. description. Inti, it's in the description of the video, so it should be in there somewhere. Nice one. Nice one, Nicole. No problem. Uh, what are Pat's snacks tonight? Pat is snacks. They're Pat all outside. Snacks. I haven't... I had a Snickers what? ice cream a while ago. I oh. still have, like, loads of mini rolls. I bought more. And I've got a... Hold up, I'll get my other ones. He's gone. He's gone. Anyways, crowd power is open. So we got 31 in. 31 of you are starting to join. You can start joining now. 32. I'm spotting you all coming in now. Not back yet. Right. Laura Mullen says, can't wait. Dog barking. I think somebody's breaking guys. into the house. So if you're having any uh, any issue with all, now's the time to get us snow. Michelle O'Connor, 50th birthday tomorrow in isolation. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, but happy birthday to you. I hear a bark bark, uh, Bart Simpson says. Bart, Bart says he heard a bark. 
Yeah. The, uh, choo choo. Yeah. A I'll dog do, thought somebody yeah. was breaking into some. Somebody thought the dog thought somebody was breaking into the house. It's just me going through my snack drawer. So, uh, have poppets. You know, lady. Poppets. Old lady. Did an old, did an old lady sell you poppets? Pop it, toffee. Did you did you go down? Did you go down like one of those markets where all the stuff is going off and they they get it in from the UK and buy a load of them because they were cheap for twenty cent because they're they're no. got like it yesterday. These were purchased in Tesco for very expensive. That's granny snacks, man. They're granny snacks. Granny couldn't eat them. They're full of toffee. They rip her teeth out. No, I'm just saying that's the stuff she gets thinking that young people like. So when her grandkids come over, she goes, "But you like a pop it." I love a poppet. Uh, next I'm one. Saying, I'm just saying, like, buying them, like. We have pepperami. Uh, have you tried at least chocolate macado biscuits? Yeah, have. They are extremely chocolatey and very, very chocolatey. Chocolatey. I can only eat about 10 of them now. I time. can only eat a packet of them. One yeah. packet of sitting. Anybody else pepperami? anymore? Hot. It's a strange snack as well. Did you go to the UK Tesco's or did you go to an actual Tesco's in Ireland? <laughs> No, you did, you, did you go? To, did you get on the ferry? And you know what? These aren't even hot ferry. enough. Never have the black pepper ammy. My God. Look at you. Did you get in the ferry and go to like... Uh, oh, wait to see how fancy you got now. Sensations. Papadoms. That, I'm pretty sure you went to an... Uh, you, uh, you, <laughs> you went to I'm the... Two kilometers. <laughs> you know, two kilometers, but not 200 kilometers. If I see a Sainsbury's sticker on something, I know you're lying like, then. You drove all the way to Northern Ireland. Michelle O'Connor said, saying no link. So, no, Michelle, the link was sent uh, when you purchased. So, Michelle, um, it was Contact sent when you purchased. Ticket. So, when you purchased the ticket, you received two emails. One saying, congratulations, well done, you purchased the ticket. And the other one has, here's how to go. This is the link you click. But, Michelle... Screenshot it and send it to me. And I, I just send me a message. You're on our Facebook page here. You have <laughs> notions of those fake crisps, Matt. All fierce notions. <laughs> I've just received a video from you there. You now we know. <laughs> Who sent that? Who made it the thumbnail? Did you? It automatically happened. Um, oh, you're gone. We all got. Are you just going? Are you reading? Or are you? Or... I'm reading. Sorry. All right. Yeah, everyone. Everyone's. Everyone. I think is sick of what you just bought there. Like, okay, so not... seventy. Just seventy-four people in. Uh. Seventy-six. Amy's just on to me there. Um. She got sent one link email. Hmm. Yeah. Click on that one. If it's the right one, it'll say the Friday quiz, just to be sure. I'm having salt, chili, crispy chicken, and Coke Zero. Oh, my favorite is salt, chili, crispy chicken. Watch this. No, Laura Mullins now probably works in the Chinese I go to. How do you know she works in the Chinese? Uh, boom, 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 boom. We could go quiet here now because I must hop into the shop here and check a few bits and pieces uh, from people. Uh, people send us messages and stuff. We're not all costumes and snacks, you know. It's not all costumes and snacks. This this uh, this gravy train. Man, what a weather we're having today. Uh, numbers are a little bit down this week, but it's got to do with the weather. Everyone is sitting outside in the deck now going to go, and will we bother doing the quiz? Will we? Let's see drunk. I fall asleep on the deck. I think we'll have about four on tonight. So that, that's, a, that's still a really, really good and really great to see. We're probably doing too many quizzes as well, to be fair. We're probably way, doing way too many quizzes. We do have uh, Tiger King on Sunday. If you haven't already figured it out. And uh, the week, next week, then, he chose, quite a lot of he chose, and demanded a Brooklyn Nine-Nine quiz. Even though I was so disappointed to find out that the last episode that aired about two weeks ago is the last episode this year. 
It's like only 13 what? episodes. Yeah, the only 13 episodes in this season. And then it's it's season eight now next year. That is just heartbreaking. Tickets are still for sale. You can buy one or two if you want to. Um, just let you know that we try our best to make sure that um, everyone gets sorted. But we will stop selling them in the room five to just to make sure everyone can get in because we don't want to leave anyone behind. There's still about 20, 30 of you still looking at tickets online. If, if you want to buy it, now's the time to do so, so that we can make sure that you don't get left out in the cold or the heat, as it would seem to be right now when I'm looking out the window. Normally for the last couple of months with the COVID thing, if I turn around at 8 o'clock at night and I look out the window, it was always pitch black. Now it's nice and bright, and I can see my neighbours drinking through their window with my telescope. And I've decided... To have a beer as well. So Orla, Orla and Paul. Orla, you left him. You left him back on again. So did you? You're in the same room. Back in from the dog house. Mark the same. Caramel. Caramel's tagging all. Caramel tag them all. Thanks, Caramel. Um. That song's in the background again. I hate that song. I've just Paddy Mac Phillips is here to cause trouble again. Well, lads, that's a lovely head, says uh, Owen. Hmm. I don't know what you're referring to. That's very inappropriate of you. Sent another message there to you, Pat. That's Amy McMahon. Pat, don't forget the intro. Robert McMara is now our uh, scheduling director. <laughs> I love that. We'll have to add him now. To the, we'll have to add him to the credits. God almighty. Thanks, Amy. Got that. I, I, I wrote back and all. Uh, Kelly McLaughlin, Podic, Ma Halvin, Mango, uh, Margo, Hawhey. What? Car Carmel, is, Carmel is now just tagging people. Bart, Cullum, you only peeping Tom spying on the neighbors. Can you yeah. This, like Shane Weldon, is putting filters on our faces. I can't. He's made me into some sort of a orc. Or orc, yeah. You're you wouldn't see Ryan right Tuberty drinking a Corona on on the on the telly, would you? Well, if I cut, says I look like Ryan Tuberty half time, so you do. You have a Ryan Tuberty head in you. You've, he's got that tic tac shaped head as well. Yeah, but he's also getting paid about four hundred thousand a year. Yeah, that's our money. Yep it up. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> what was that supposed to be him? Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think it was. I'll be honest with you. Ah, come on. And Laura Mullen says, no, I don't work in a Chinese. No, I want to know where you work, yeah, Laura. That's fine. But you just happen to be eating. Is that the dry one now, Laura? Is that the dry uh, salt and chili? Is salt. that the dry one? No. You can be, you can... No. No, it's not. No, no. You're not You're not You're not You're not 117 of you in. There's still quite a lot of lag uh, laggers behind. Come on. 20 minutes before no. we get this show on the road. Hello, That's Jenny. We are back. The only in at the moment. What are we at? Four, three. Is this going to be the tie? Oh, there's a fight going on there. Oh, Monzi one, two, three. A lot of talk went into that name. Jenny one, two, three. I don't know. I just made that up. She's uh, a special needs assistant. Now you make me look bad. I just changed costumes on the internet, and that's what I do. The Chinese are a great bunch of lads. Comes from Bart and Ashley. Dip. I'm waiting. I don't know what she's waiting for. Is she waiting on you or something? I don't know what she's waiting for. I've no messages. Message free since '93. Message free since 2003. Once again, I'm sorry if I start yawning. No, it's... To That's join in the comments, are way behind. Right here we go. To join the comments, are way be to join in the comments, are way behind. To join uh -huh. in, comments are way behind. Jeez, Colin, you look ten years younger. He right. does, doesn't he? Really? Yeah, you know, you look way younger. You don't look as like homeless as you usually do. Are both uh, of you ginger? No, it's the light. Nine, nine, nine. So hold up. I'm going to change my uh, white balance. I, I, I'm going to change this up here. I'm going to get two of us up here. Change the white balance here. A small bit. I look a bit... Hold up. Who says you look like Pat's hot younger sister? Who? Oh, no. Sorry. 
How about now? You called. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, leave it there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold lovely. up. Then Thomas have. I'm sorry. Bit orange. Too orange. I'm trying to do my Carol Bat or um, my Joe Exotic eyebrows. I've been working on them. Oh, no. oh too much contract. Oh, I'm going all over this. What am I doing? It's a bit better there now, I think. It's unusual to see myself. There you go. Bit. We need Pat with longer hair now. Bit of a mullet. No, I think Pat should shave his head. My wife won't let me. Do with three. Do with three. Do you want to show him the Brooklyn Nine Nine one? I'm really proud of that. Go and show him that. I haven't even downloaded it. Ah, oh, terrible. It's on the WhatsApp. Ah, uh, you can't probably upload it on your WhatsApp. So crap. I'll open up my email here. I'll go into my Google Drive. I worked hard. Do a whole lot of work. I did a lot of work. He did a lot of work. So the gateway's open. If you want to walk through it, you can do so. 157 of you. I thought there was like 170 a minute ago. What happened? No idea. They're all waiting. Waiting for the burgers to cook. 158. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I'd have to go back. So there's 158 of you. We're still waiting on quite a lot of you to get yourself involved. If you're having any difficulty, now is the time to let us know. Try there on the comments so we can tell you. If you're if you're looking for an email, you would have got them the minute or within a minute of buying the ticket. You would have got or making the purchase. You would have got one email that would have been a receipt, and the second email would have been a uh, link uh, connection thingy. So you follow the link and you click it. You can only click it seven times. It runs out. If you if you click it seven times, you'd have to get onto us then afterwards. Let us know. If you're having any difficulty, get onto us now. Not at five past nine when we start asking. Not the five past nine. nine. If you ask us at five past nine, at least I couldn't get in. Um, it's going to be very difficult for us because we're asking questions and we're also pressing buttons and we're trying to pay attention to make sure nothing goes wrong. Uh, so yeah. Just be pressing button. There are people still buying tickets, like. But there's a quarter hour to go. They're all right. All right. We will be taking it down off the site at 5 2. So if you want to buy a ticket, now's the time to do so. Don't leave it till the last second. Otherwise, you might lose out. I can even see there's someone in London. London considering buying a ticket. Oh, come on. There you go, Colin. Get in there. Come on. That's for you, Colin. I have it off. Oh, look at that. I even put you in a bulletproof vest. Do you like that? I did. I did. No, it's lovely there. There's a tiniest bit of sauce in it, but yum. Golden aroma and Carlo. Ooh, little bit of sauce, little bit of sauce. See, there's a different one. I get one that's completely dry. Don't know why I like it, but I do. Because I'm dry balls. Uh, the Panacolic gooseberries are logged in and ready. Did you get your hair cut on the black market, Colm? Uh, yeah, um, myself. <laughs> you can actually watch it on YouTube. Um, about last Tuesday night. Ten minutes at the very end of the last week's, uh, last Tuesday's video. I lost my mind. Um, the Panacolic nice. gooseberries. Right, lads, I'm getting worried. There's 14 minutes to go, and uh, people are still uh, not logging in. We're we're just up to two, just shy of 200, which is about half of the amount of people who need to Adam be Ryan, Any of my friends oh. here? I'm here, Adam, but I'm not your friend. Uh, Samantha White, 99, just rewatching it all. I'll definitely get them all wrong. Uh, so after Star Wars. Which I will definitely be releasing a T-shirt, a limited edition. I survived the Star Wars quiz. Um, I am going to make sure that the questions are easy. Are you sure? Yes, they're going to be probably too easy in some some instances. Some of you are going to be going, "Oh, that's way too easy," and then you're going to be complaining about that as well because that's you know that's what people do. But nonetheless, I got the ticket. There half an hour ago, but no email with the code. It's not a code, Richard. It's a link. Um, so I'll see if I actually have one that I purchased my shadow. Samantha, uh, Seamus Barrett. Uh, paid for the ticket but got no email. Can you help? Yes, Seamus, we can. First of all, just check your... Uh, what do you call it? Spam? Um, 
other mail and if it's in there uh, if, if sometimes it goes in there if not just send pat a message on facebook so you'll james uh, you're on a facebook uh, you're on facebook just drop me a private message um i see that you purchased a ticket um see we like to do this stuff before we start the quiz it's a lot easier in three minutes time i think we should take down the tickets maybe yeah so a tenta. So if you do want to buy a ticket, now's the last opportunity to do it. So who's I answer there? Seamus. 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 Drop me a message. You're on Facebook. They're just going to the message button. Can you give out shout to Jenny from the block of flats? Dude, I've actually just remembered we're missing a few uh, from a few weeks ago. We we had these kind of a few families. The young family were were on here, and a couple of other people from Dublin. I haven't seen them in a while, and I hope they're alright. I wonder if they're still playing. We're missing a few uh, from a few weeks ago. Yes, it's transactions dot send out. That's the one, Paddy. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm going in there as well to the. Uh, Facebook so that people can know where to find it. Right. Oh, 12 minutes. 2.17 in. Keep going, guys. If you're having any difficulty, please let us know now. It's weird looking at... Uh, it's a weird looking link, lads. It says transaction send out or something. Yes. It's from send out. So you get one from Shopify and then you get the other one from send out because they, they attach the link. Send out is the company that sends it. So even if you do look for send out, Sarah Flynn, Lisa and Paul, you're going down. Do Robert wants to know what my teeth get the question. Fine. No, Taco Man. You can just look at your phone. This is just to have a bit of fun and also we let you know when we're having breaks. So what we do is we kind of do... 10 or 15 questions, have a break, but we give you the notice. So it's not necessary. But you can have two tabs open. If you want to, if you're just on a laptop, you can have YouTube on one, and you could have uh, what you're answering on the other one. The, normally, uh, there's about a 10-second delay on YouTube. Uh, I'm just going to check the delay on Facebook, actually, you know, that, I'm, uh, that I'm there. Way behind. If, if oh, it's way behind. That's about 30 seconds. Is that Facebook? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna refresh it there now and see if it's because I didn't. Facebook is miles behind. It's, it's also doing annotations as well. Facebook. Oh, turn that off. No, but if, if anyone is hard of hearing, purple monkey dishwasher. <laughs> I'll wait now for that to come up. <laughs> see you in thirty seconds. Purple monkey dishwasher twice. <laughs> Hello to cranky Brian. Here's fierce cranky. It just said yeah. it's 30 seconds behind, and I just said I'll refresh it. I'm not even listening, I'm reading it. It's because I didn't Facebook something or other. It's gone now. It's it's also doing annotations as well on Facebook. Oh, turn that off. No. If I anyone is of the if anyone is purple monkey dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trudy, think it's second then, email. Trudy, drop me a message on my Facebook page. That's where I'm kind of doing all the. So, Trudy, go I to Catch for Her and Entertainment on Facebook and just drop me a message. Right. We are about nine minutes away from starting. Not everyone involved yet has joined. Pat, I think we need to take those tickets off. There's still a few people and on the chat. site right now. Right. There's 22 get people. It. Get off it. Products, delete. Clean them all. I'd say uh, give, give them four minutes. You've got four minutes. This is your last warning. Four minutes to buy tickets. That's another 20 minutes of me going. I know. <laughs> Send me a message on uh, Facebook. Four minutes. But uh, there's so many people in there now at the moment that, it, that they're, they're currently trying to buy. But you will get cut off. You will get cut off. Make sure it's now you do it. Uh, Taco Man uh, How's quarantine? It's alright, not too bad Casting from YouTube and commenting on Facebook And playing the quiz on my phone Robert O'Mara, where are you? A tech genius We got a picture of Loki the cat From Rachel Dole That's the same Rachel Pizza Rachel
Yeah. Radio. The email is called Live Quiz. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Is that what the email is called? So, yeah, just in case you can't... Do, you're in? Sorry, Trudy. Well done. Uh, thanks, Trudy. Thanks for letting me know. Trudy, Judy. So, always do a little search. The word quiz inside your um, emails. See, Colin O'Sullivan's even given us the no reply at sendl.com is the address to whitelist. Yes. Whitelist it if you can because it might be spamming it. Come on, Colin. No need to see. I don't really. There's no need to say sorry. How's quarantine? Yeah, any sign of Nigel Boardman? He's obviously got cracked. Didn't get the same. <laughs> uh, right. I'm just reading Drew just in case we missed anything as well. Like, yes, right. indeed. Sup, lads. Nigel Cotter. Hey. Uh, uh, hey Nigel. Dear. Nigel, I'm getting says, sick. I live to serve. <laughs> Nigel, I'm getting sick of uh, looking at your Instagram there, of you um, cooking up stuff, making me look bad. Carmel Halvin, hello. I'm going to be terrible at, on, a, on a Tiger King quiz. Well, tonight is not the Tiger King quiz, so you can... You can that's Sunday. You're all right tonight. Um, I was going to do something, Colin, and I can't remember what it is now. Oh, I got it. Um... Right. Damien's now saying, forget them. If they can't get in, I'll finish in the least in the top 200. How many questions tonight? 70 questions. Because he complained. There's he too complained many. Last week that 60 was too and then he we did six more than 80 was too much. So it would turn out that 70 would be the perfect amount of questions to keep everyone happy. Email says live quiz ticket at the title. Oh, uh, people cannot miss it. Yeah, but sometimes it does go into different email folders and for some strange reason, you never know. Right, lads, we do have six minutes to go before we start getting very panicky. But two, uh, we need, there's quite a lot of you uh, still not connected. So please do know so that you can at least eliminate that the fact that it might be a problem that we have or you have so that we can sort it, so we can get it sorted for you. If you're having any difficulty at all connecting, please contact us through the Facebook link now rather than later. So we do ask you to get in as fast as you can. Um, Adam so Ryan, are you on... Did anyone see the crab float across behind Colum? <laughs> hmm? You walk okay? So Adam Ryan said, "Did anyone see the crab float across behind Colum?" It's easy for us to go back and check. <laughs> da, da, da. Tony Larson, hey Tony, how we doing, buddy? What's up, Tony? Uh, radio. I'm just make sure I have everything here. Let's open that up. This open, put this open. Kahal Larigi, Larigi wants 71 questions, please. <laughs> uh, Damien is now also chiming in and saying, Drugs are bad, Adam. He's right. Yes, drugs. Um, drugs are bad. Cranky Brian. Our Friday night in Geraldine Cahill. How are things? Our K. Hi, Geraldine. We are in the country. I don't we, know. Yeah, they've been in before. The Cahills, the Cahills. I think Colm could be hammered by the end of the night. My second beer. Ooh, calm down there, buddy. I know I'm already there, man. I don't know about a crab, but I might have saw a small horse. No. My mini rods here. You got, did you get new ones or are they still the same ones? Go <laughs> through a packet of mini rods a day, man. <laughs> ah, stop. You're going to be huge. I wash myself with a red. Nicole the face says, Can you say hi to Jackie, please? She's a huge fan. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> hi, Jackie. We got fans. Send you some signed, some signed uh, photographs. Some, the Pat's ones are tastefully nude. I didn't uh, see the crab. He's doing a awesome job. Um, Ginty, get out of here. Ginty is my buddy who's renowned for is bad. That Corona beer? It's a Corona light. They run off her. <laughs> I wonder why no one's drinking Corona beer anymore. He must have lost so much money. Um, right. Keep coming in. Right. Keep clicking things. All right. Well, we're I'm almost there. Me. We're almost there. Pat, okay. take those tickets down. Those tickets need to come off now, please. Mm. Done. There's still a lot of people looking at him, but you should be okay. If they're in your basket, you should be able to order and get out. Do it now. Please do it now. I beg of you. I beg of I you. I took him down. Wait for that. I didn't want to get a ticket. When will <gasps> we see the Marvel quiz? 
What are you saying? What's this? <gasps> About? Don't? <gasps> Inhale. That, dramatically. Is, is tomorrow supposed to be the last home game of the season for Liverpool? No? No. Newcastle, no? Would it be Newcastle? No, no. The last home game. Weren't they playing Chelsea at home oh. for the last game? Oh. Don't know. I can't have it. I don't have it in front of me. Um, um, I don't I, even know day of the week it is. You I think I, I, I was just sent it. Uh, yeah. We were supposed to be going to Liverpool now today to go to that game. Oh, I wasn't invited. I remember that, right? You weren't, yeah. You, you couldn't get a ticket. <laughs> ah, Trish O'Manny's in. John O'Manny's so boring tonight. John's had enough now. John. John. Sorry, but we all know, Trisha, you're the brains of this whole thing. So uh... <laughs> It's the brains of the operation. Right, two minutes. Still waiting on some people. I'm going to check the analytics and reports and see how many people we've got. I'm not going to tell you because that's none of your business. Isn't that right, Pat? Uh, two seconds. Get on to Nigel there. Nigel Bow, different guy. Simon Murdoch's in. What up, who Simon? Left these, who left these gumshites on the television? You did. She's got all these people. By the way, we want to do a um, halftime game show. Yeah. If you want to be involved, you need to have a decent phone and camera or a, a laptop with a, a decent uh, thing on it and you have to be able to allow you don't. us to you don't you could just use your phone you could yeah but if they want to use a laptop with a nice camera on the top of the can as well Ooh, you don't just saying, like, you know, they, if you make people think they're on their phone we're like oh why am i doing it on a laptop you can use it on your tablet as long as it's got a camera and it's got any and, and it's got a and it can and they can broadcast out we'll, we'll send a link so if you want to do it just send us send us uh, a thing I Message below. We'll, we'll let you know. We'll be having two breaks. First break, we'll do nothing. We'll just find out who wants to get interested in it. And then on the second break, we're going to do it. Just a quick round. And we're going to give away a little prize. We're short about 20 players at the moment. We're still short about 20 players. Damien Shreenan, you'd jump on Damo, wouldn't you? He's one. Damien, Simon Murdoch surely would. We'll get Simon on, will we? His voice would be too sexy for this stream. <sighs> Everyone Good like, afternoon. Welcome to uh, 103 FM. That doesn't even that doesn't even do it justice, man. No, I know. Well, that's that's just, that's just even being rude. What you just did, like I know. Sorry, Simon. Good morning, uh, Simon. Stop. We're not here. You're making it worse. The 103. Sporto Macomodo saying nope. Drunk nope. girlfriend making comments when I go to the fridge. Damn pizza, Rachel. Pizza Rachel. Oh, well, that's Darren. Darren. Yeah, Darren. That, 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 oh, did you get that in the post? It should have been sent like two days ago. So it should be it should be there today. Not Monday. Today? The post doesn't take that long, does it? Did you get it? it takes years. Crab is massive. Jesus, everyone's going to about this crab. Two donkeys here, but look. Uh, but it looks uh, like we're waiting for the vet to come to look at a cow. Oh, no. What's up, cow? Hey donkeys, what's up, cow? Poor old cow. Uh, I have to go put on some makeup before I agree to that. That's fine. You can you can do it in the first break. Um, <laughs> no, no, do, 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 do. Corona want the next virus to cause a pandemic. That's called the Heineken virus. Very good, driver Tamara. I'm great. It's good strip dance for a halftime if you want it. Yeah, I think. Look, let us know if you want to if you want to partake in it. We'll get. I'll put a prize. Put a prize. We'll have a little voucher. And yeah. all, all, one for all voucher up for our winner <laughs> Simon Murdoch my job is safe <laughs> right we should at this point have all be playing should be actually hold on we're short five for god's sakes there's five of you out there I, 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 good. come on come on I know if you're looking to buy tickets it's probably too late now if they're not, if they're not in your basket uh, that goes for the person in Paris, the person in Leeds, and the person in Sligo as well. Unfortunately, if you're looking right now, it might be a little bit too late for you. Don Horgan, sorry, Don. Uh, tickets are off. Hi to Grizzly Beard McDermott. Helen, John, and Una, you're going down. See, the going down ones. The going down. I love you all. You're going down. Hi, everyone. You're totally going down. <laughs> Enjoy the quiz. I'm going to kill you. Pat. It's uh, time for the intro. Yeah. Really? It. I'll have to get rid of the old uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine first. Sunday 17th. Sunday oh, 17th. Oh, yeah, sure I know. Uh, radio, 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 rad
It's Friday night. You should be half drunk by now to watch these two goombags do a live quiz. Presented by Pan Cullum. Woo! Woo! No, everyone's just shouting at each other. You're going down. Nice. Ron, you're going down. The Mackers, you're going down. Ah, I see Manzi. One, two, three, comment there. No, no, we should see. I can make it five, three, game on. Right, Smack Talk begins as soon as the intros come in, it seems. It's Smack Talk time. As soon as the intro goes down, like everyone's like, hi, everyone. Hello. And intro, and then you're on down. I had to. Right. Um, so that's your job. No one just remind me of intros because I always forget because I'm usually just going. Be there Monday. If it's not there Monday, you can get on to me. Shout out to Father Spodo Komodo. How are you, Father? Yeah, Father. Standing over you. Uh, bless you, Brian McDowell. Half drunk, lightweights. Woohoo! As long as I get to be Shreenan, I'm happy. Yeah, that's two people there in here. Dam- <laughs> Damien and Simon are both coming on. You're coming on. You can win a prize, lads. And you can also plug whatever you want. No. Except your, except quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> except quizzes. Get with it. Um, right. I'm, check, I'm checking there now. I'm checking. Yeah, there's more than what there should be, but they're there. <laughs> <laughs> As per usual. Cheating bastards. Right. <laughs> God, we're not into curse. <laughs> it's after nine o'clock. I'm all right. The watershed's gone. Oh, and I, I say a dirty joke there at half past ten. You're like, oh, that's Yeah, but come on. You're better than that. Right. First question is going to appear in about one minute. Let's keep watching your devices, phones, whatever, laptops. You know, you know, look, let's say seven minutes past the first question is coming on because let's let's give people. Yeah. Hold on. Just some people might have just joined and they might not know exactly how this works. Tell them one more time how it all works. You do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. At seven minutes past the, the questions are going to arrive on your phone. They'll arrive on your phone first before everywhere else or on the device that you're answering. There is a delay on YouTube. There's an even bigger delay on Facebook. So it's recommended that you watch the live stream on YouTube as it is closer to the questions being asked than the other one. You, when you see the question arrive in your phone, answer it as fast as possible because the fastest person to answer gets more points. The more points you get, the higher you will be on the board. And if you're at the top of the quiz, at the end, we'll give you a cash prize. And that's how it works. First, second, third. And we might have one or two spot prizes throughout it. Look at this. Um, is there anything else? I can't think. Product placement. Hashtag Coke. Hashtag. Yes. Influencer. I wouldn't mind if there's more. There's more. Um, yes. The first oh, round will have 20 Father. questions. The second we round will have 20 questions. questions. The third round will have 20 questions. And the final round will have 10. So there will Chris be a break. Father, um, please drop me a private message on Facebook. Patrick Hearn Entertainment. Facebook, please. Chris, honestly, we have to start the quiz in two minutes' time, so please, please. There's no code, as Brian, uh, as Brian McDonald says. Just click the link that you got in the email that is marked as live quiz or from send owl. Yeah. Can we just be? Can we get a predicted score instead of doing the quiz? Darren wants to know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or we can do the quiz later next year. Rory Brown wants to know, what's the code? I joke, I joke. <laughs> the Mackers are going down. Taco Man Eternal is really making sure that those Mackers get, uh, go down. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, congrats Nigel to every week. on the engagement. Nigel Boardman again, probably. He that one up every week. So 45 seconds. The first set of questions will start arriving on your phones in the next one minute, less than, th- less than 30 seconds. So pay attention to your phone. 20 questions will come at you really fast. Answer them as fast as you can. If you're Googling, we'll know and we'll just get rid of you. And, find uh, you and we'll go to your house. We'll find you and we'll go to your house and we'll rub ourselves all over your doorknob. Um, that t- sounds terrible, but it's what we'll do. Right. right. I haven't got a message from Chris yet. So look, at phone, look at your phones, 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 look at your phones. The question's right now. We're in the past. I'll do the first 20 there, Colm. Show them the question, why don't you, before the time. Go for it up there uh what was the title of u2's debut album was it boy octung baby or the joshua tree there is breaks in between the questions but only for a few seconds just to give you a breather and for us to to find out how you answered chris, chris Dollar said sorry oh. thanks thanks chris come on so, um we are 
what we do How just so you know if you're going to type calling out the answers in the live quiz uh, or the live chat you will get blocked it's just give you the heads up 45% said boy 40% said Joshua Tree Lindsay Grimes now says I still have no email oh Lindsay drop me a private message quick on the Facebook um, num... oh boy was the correct answer you saying boy that was on the greatest hits first one number two the jam filled hole in the middle of a jammy dodger biscuit takes what shape easy peasy I know because I probably have them as part of my snacks Heart, a star, a circle, a diamond. I can see all of you answering anyway, so more or less everyone that should be in is in, and we're getting more or less all the answers off you. So everything seems to be going well. Um, Eddie Mack obviously doesn't know I'm working. Sorry, Eddie. I'll send you a link of this afterwards. I'll message you then. Uh, 82% said heart. You like your snakes? Snakes. Uh, number three. Po is a traditional rice noodle soup dish that originated in which country? Is it Vietnam, Thailand, Scotland, Japan? Being nice. Being nice again, Colm. Which? You're being nice with the, the answers again. Why? Well, you could see there. You think it's too easy? No. What do you like? You're, you're being nice to them. I think these are good enough questions. They can't complain about These are very difficult. 59% said Vietnam. 35% said Thailand. It's Vietnam. Question number four. It's Vietnam. Vietnam. Who starts first in chess? Winner of the coin toss, white or black? Lindsay. Lindsay, I haven't seen your uh, message yet. I haven't, haven't seen your what? You, you, you disappeared Lindsay, there for a second. Lindsay, I haven't seen your email. Um, you can be saying anything else, Colm. No, I'm just saying you went robot <laughs> Lindsay, I haven't seen your... Happy with aim. Uh, 76% said white. There she is. I'm being nice. There we go. Um, five. Uh, Who had a hit with How Bizarre? <laughs> how Bizarre. How Bizarre. How Bizarre. This is one for Simon Murdoch. C103. Show me the answers. <laughs> you shut your mouth there, no column, right? O M B O B E O M D O M C. Let's see that now. I'll just start chatting now while you're trying to read out some questions. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, chat after you ask the questions. People oh, are sitting there the like... Man. This is the man chatting while I'm answering questions. They're Googling. <laughs> <laughs> They're Googling. Get them up. Toom. Samantha White says... Are the bullets of books on walls? Want to know the rest? Hey, Bardo writes. OMC. Oh, uh, Come on, lads, test me, please. It's Simon Murdoch. Marlon Proxton says, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. Six. Who is the host of the US show Lip Sync Battle? LL Cool J, John Legend, Channing Tatum. One of them just loves going on the show. You'd nearly think he was the presenter of it. The other has a. Jess, stop having a domestic wife. Oh, I know you're going to be taking column side anyway, Jess. She loves you too, you know that. Nah. She, broke into your, she, she broke into your house. <laughs> that what happened to my sock drawer. Um, 79% LL Cool J. That is correct. Number love seven. Cool James. True or false? It is illegal to name a pig Napoleon in France. Rory Standard. Brown says LL Cool J loves a good lip lick. <laughs> He does. He does. He loves rubbing his hands as well, I think. Slanderous. He loves lip, lip lick as much as I love mini rod. Mmm. Mini goodness. Radio. Let's see what people said. 81% said true. Believe it or not, a lot of oh. people think it's a lot of people think it's true. 
Uh, it was illegal to insult a head of state or an emperor at one point, but it was never enforced and it was never it, that you could name your pig Napoleon. Uh, a lot of people thought that was the real answer, but it's false. There's no law at all. And any, if anyone can find it, French people are wondering about it. Thank you for that. You for trivia, Colm. Gosh, Nate. Hey. <laughs> what is the second film in the Indiana Jones franchise? Is it... Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom. Crystal Skull, Lost Ark, <laughs> Temple of Doom. One of the movies should never have existed. Emails floating in. There's loads of stuff. Oh, hold on. And 71% said Temple of Doom. If you said Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, you should go to hell because it's... Worst movie ever. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Kiss my butt. Kiss my butt. Um, uh, Patch can't no. say but. <laughs> <laughs> Cut him. Oh, Cover your ears, kids. I'm getting cut off. Fuck you. <gasps> yeah. Um, existing from 1949 to 1990, was the German Democratic Republic better known as West Germany or East Germany? Is it on the West side or on the East side? You see, uh, our way, Flo and uh, Peter. I'm out of Peter. here. Put his name in there. Have another corona. I'm in the middle of a question. Get you should get hammered some night for a quiz. <laughs> that would be do. that would be brilliant. I think people would actually want to see that. 47 or 57 said east, 43 percent said west. It is east. Uh, 10. They were divided there. They were. Did you get it? Uh, <laughs> um, which team has been runner-up most times in the 65 years of the European Cup Champions League? Is it? Juventus, Real Madrid, or Bayern Munich? <laughs> <laughs> I love having a little bit of power. You tell it. That's a little oh, bit of it. Just to kick you out. You, love, you, like, you like things that are little, right? What? Do you think you'd learn your lesson? You think I would, wouldn't you? <laughs> I just cut you off because I wanted to. And let's have a look. Yeah. That's what she said. Name your sex tape. Forty-three yeah, percent said Juventus. Twenty-six thirty-one. Oop! It is Juventus. Uh, Eleven. Next page of questions. I said we're going to do twenty questions, and then we'll have a break. Twenty questions. Break. Uh, what or did Will Smith release the album Willennium before or after the millennium? Before or after? So was Willennium myself, before or after? Myself and Colm did a, a Will Smith quiz before. <laughs> and we gave away about, what, was it 15 albums of Willennium? <laughs> uh, John Ricks one did not get question nine on the screen if something like that happens again just give a quick refresh on your screen refresh refresh or you press a little circly thing or what's refresh on the laptop f5 f5 press f5 69 percent said before here it comes the millennium great right you. mcdonald technically you never said which millennium this is a joke <laughs> that could have been any millennium Robert Muir, there's no late joining code. <laughs> late joining code, please. There's none. Uh, 12. The Macarena made it to number one spot in the Irish charts. True or false? Peter, get your mind out of the gutter. Hope you got the German question. Squeaky clean there, talk man eternal. Man, he can, he can type and answer questions, can't he? He's, he's, he's an all-rounder, or she's an all-rounder. Talk a man. We'll say he. We'll say Did he. you just assume gender? Yeah, I did. With the, with the man part <laughs> gave man. it away. The man bit gave it away. 72% or 73% are true. It is false. Where'd they get to call him? I'm guessing number, number three. three. Number three. They, they, charted, they got to number three. You'd think it was number one with the dance and all that kind of stuff. I'd love to know what mm. kept it out of the charts now, actually. Go That's look, That's your job. That's your job now for the next eight questions. Which company introduced Newton PDA in the 1990s? Microsoft, Pam, Apple, IBM. Lightning. 
tackle man. You're like that cat that they have. Watch now, Colin will discover it was number one. <laughs> have to backtrack quickly. Uh, 36% said IBM. Killing me softly. It's Apple. Newton PDA. Killing me softly kept it off the charts. Actually, like the number ones from that year are strange. Father and son boys on Jesus to a child, George Michael, Spaceman Babylon Zoo. Don't look back in anger for only one week oasis. How deep is your love? Take that. In Fuckle Elif, Richie Kavanagh was like a seven week runner there, <laughs> followed by Man United, Men United. Nobody I'm knows by the Tony Rich Project. Killing me softly, the Fugees. Lemon Tree by Foo's Garden for a week. Wannabe from the Spice Girls. The hurling song, The Wild Swans. How bizarre from OMC, strangely enough. Words, Boy Zone, Rat Trap from Dustin and Bob Geldof. Breathe, the Prodigy, and Two Become One for the Spice Girls for the Christmas number one. Unbelievable. Some classics there. Wouldn't have that now. Load of rappers you don't know the name of. 14. In which country was paper first used and was in fact invented? Great bunch of lads. It's cranky brain. Get it right. <laughs> Grumpy Arabia, China, China. Pat, I'm waiting for you to say it. I don't know about questions with the word China. Let's say you say it. Arabia, China, <laughs> Egypt, India. Arabia, China, Egypt, India. Do all India, Egypt, China, Arabia, all great countries over there. According to the official charts, though, it says it reached number two. But according to the Irish charts, it says it only reached number three. I don't know which one is the right one, but one, it did. Three, get China, submit to wait. China. It is China. 15. China. Which rock star did Val Kilmer play in film? It's an easy one. Jim Morrison, John Lennon, Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis. You probably John narrowed them two there, pretty much. Someone brings up Pac Secret and say he was a rock star in that as well. Uh, yeah, we know, but he's not one of the answers, is he now? Is he? Is he? Jess Benson, uh, Samantha White, I'm doing terrible. Nick Rivers. He was Nick Rivers in it. Top seeker. 68% uh, said Jim Morrison. Yes, indeed. I am the Lizard King. Um, 16. In which film is there a horse named Bullseye? I'm expecting a 90% here. Sea Biscuit, Toy Story, National Velvet, or Hidalgo? I have no idea what Hidalgo is. I've heard of that one. I've never heard of National Velvet. Hidalgo. Guess he Pac Man Eternal wants to know which film. I'm assuming you're talking about the Jim Morrison one. Or Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. I got mixed up and I called him after our printer. <laughs> Jim Morrison. Morrison. <laughs> Morrison. 89. That was not bad. I said 90. Well done. 17. Well, James Donovan knows saying Toy Story 2. He was actually Toy James, Story 2. Uh, James Donovan, you just lost 400 points. Out of here. Get out of here. Shh. Whoa. Come on. Shoot. Um, just Toy Story 2. No. Yeah, but it's still Toy Story franchise. Still Toy Story. Oh, my lord. Uh, what was the second animated feature film from Disney? Was it Pinocchio, Snow White, Jungle Book, Dumbo? Didn't know Salmon from the Hardy Books was the new host. I'm looking up a picture of him there. They think I look like your man because of the glasses. I don't know. Block him. <laughs> Just <laughs> block him. Just block him. Block him. Uh, 30. Oh, look at this. Right across the board. Um, no lie. Pinocchio is the right answer. <laughs> this is the moment I should kick you again. No, it's not. Uh, 80. Which film was the biggest box office hit of the 90s? Think of it. Was it? Titanic, Jurassic Park, Independence Day, Men in Black. I had one of the movies in my head before it even started. Boom, 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 boom. Taco Man Eternal now wants to know what I'm cooking. Because he thinks I look like Mr. White. <laughs> he looks like Walter White. Um, eighty three percent with Titanic, of course, of course, no brainer, no brainer. Nineteen. 
The farthest distance away from the Earth traveled by humans was 400,000 kilometers by astronauts Hayes, Lovell, and Swigert. But what was the name of the mission? Was it Apollo 13, Apollo 11, Apollo 9, Apollo 7? Boom, 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 boom. They, it wasn't it wasn't intended to be that way and no apollo 13. it was a mistake did the swing around 20 last one before we take a break how many horns does an african rhino have one two three none one two three, none. three none. no you got one two three none Come on, Rhino, say you love me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like more like Motley there, Richard. You're wheezing. Um, <laughs> Coaches, what call them? I have a song for every question. Every, every I question. A, I every back every question. And I can raise it back to a film. <laughs> 67% said two. One big horn, one small horn. Right, let's have a look at the scoreboard, see where everybody is. Uh, radio. Wait a couple of seconds for that. I'll pop up. Dave Crowley got 20, 20 out of 20. 20. Oh, and Connor Fahey too. Is that the real Shatner's bassoon? If it is, how are we doing? Uh, Connor Fahey, uh, 20 as well. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I thought someone would get 20 out of 20. They're doable. They're definitely They're doable. doable. Beth Lee, how'd you get on, Beth? I haven't seen see your spot there. Ken Dog Stead's dog's dead. And and so is Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd's dead. As long as Ken Dodd's dog, he's dead too. Baby Cake 67. Louise Griffin. There she is in uh, 77. And the Goonies above her in 76th. Cow's okay. Query. Uh, John Amani, Stuart Query and the Napoleon answer. Google disagrees. No, nope, Google is wrong. Google is go. not right. Just been told, John. Just been told. The Again, if John O'Manny can provide the actual law where it says it's illegal to call a pig Napoleon, because French people have been looking for that for about a hundred years. And no one has been able to find it yet. Does Column run Linux? No. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. Bing look. says it too. No, you see, what you're doing is you're reading into false answers. Like Bing will return back the result that a lot of sites are saying. It's it's a, it's a miss fact. Do you know what? For once, Column, I actually think you're probably right. <laughs> I usually wouldn't back up on these things. I usually argue with you. Call you a damn liar. That's fight and talk. Fake like, news. If you're Fake going news. by Cora, if you're going by, like the first result is in on, on Google is Cora. And it, it, why is it illegal to name a pig in France? And if you go into that and click into it, the people down below are said like, uh, it's an urban legend is the first reply to that. So if you're reading it, it says like, I read this, it's a, histor a historian fact checked it. It turns out to be urban legend. It likely origins is from the legend of George Orwell's 1945 book, Animal Farm. It features a villainous pig called Napoleon, although the character is based on uh, Stal uh, Stalin. And the editor of the 1947 French edition refused to keep the name, calling him Caesar. Instead, probably because Napoleon was fairly popular in France at the time. Messing with the national pride would have been a bad move two years after World War II. And in 1981, the French edition reverted back to the name Napoleon. So it, keep keep them coming. If you can if you can find the law, you'll, I'll give you the points. Um, John Manny, no, Jesus, I'm sorry, no. Well... <laughs> Nicholas Starkey, Sharkey's now in again, and I've just... I, yeah, Google says it's true. It's illegal. It's not. It's not. That's an urban legend. Google is returning the fact that it's an urban legend to you, and people, the results are not actually showing that it is legal. I do not call him. I'd say you're wrong again. 
take it back. And if uh, you're also going by the sun.co.uk, that's one of the main reasons why it got spread out. The sun, the sun newspaper. People, that's we like all know they people. don't lie about stuff, of course. Then, uh, Rach, Rachel O'Connell says, um. <laughs> She goes, might be rare, but African rhinos do have three horns. And I looked it up. It's a mutant black rhino. <laughs> and I was like, if it was mutant, I technically, if I was mutant, I could technically could have two heads. But she said, ah, but they do exist. And two headed people don't. Nice try, Rachel. No points. Going to majority here. Again, Richie. Nice I, also, I also checked Google and it totally. So Google is where you all go for your facts, is it? <laughs> Paul Cousin, you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. I've just, I've just disproved it to you. Find <laughs> me the law, and I'll give you the points. That's all I'm saying to you. Wikipedia warriors, Pat. We, they're, they're everywhere. You, you know, you have to you have to read beyond the first page. You have to click into some of the links. Um. It is an urban legend, and it has been... And, and it gets out into these silly books and newspapers, and they make these stupid BuzzFeed uh, 20, 20 illegal laws that are still in effect. And some of them are right. And then some of them are just urban legend. And then all of a sudden, someone else shares that and it goes up onto Facebook. And then all of a sudden, someone's asking a question on Cora or asking a uh, asking the Sun to make it a, a new list for a newspaper because, let's face it, no one wants to buy that piece of, sh of, of a piece of paper anyway. Yes, drag. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> right. Um, just send us the evidence. I'm not going to look into it. Uh, Nile Ginty, you do have three horns, two on the nose, and Ginty, you should be ashamed of yourself. Corey uh, McDonald, Din Din, Lockheed versus Google. <laughs> I'm taking him to court. I'm taking all this is going all the way to the top. It's going, it's, it's going all the way to the president. It's going all the way to the present. Build a bridge. Are you talking to me or are you talking to everyone else? That's I think it's everybody. Of all of you. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Um, uh, clean up right clean up all notifications right next talk, question talk a man eternal wants to know and the answers i don't know do don't, mean... like, don't let read the comment above it it's like don't let uh facts get in the way of uh he said and the answers yes like disinfect oh my goodness it can be injected and used to clean your lungs google says true uh He's very I didn't know the crabs are back. Jesus called him. You're very passionate about pigs legally called Napoleon. Wait until Gemma Doherty finds out about this. My God, she'll march up to Paris. She'll be on the first ferry out of here. Like she could. Someone should tell her. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? This oh is illegal. I want your badge number. <laughs> of course you know who I am. I'm very famous. Poor lady's you not well. You know where <laughs> I'm going. She's not well. I don't want to mock her anymore. That's not nice. She's just not well. Unfortunately, people listen to her. Yes. Stephen here is too late to join. Stephen, come on. You know come better. On. Steve. Come on. Come on. Wait, right. no, I'm on to you, Steve. Right. We got ourselves. Uh, what do we say? Give me two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. So Stephen we start at 333. Yeah. Nine five. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, go uh, grab a, another beer. Good. Two minutes. You too. Go, go over, grab a beer. Just sing a song there for a minute. Okay, what do you want me to sing? I don't know. Uh... One, two, three, four. Come on, baby, say you love me five, six, seven times. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's got it, Susie. I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. Right, lads, that's a really annoying Call him. Keep winding him up. Keep winding him up. Somebody, please, Photoshop a <laughs> website. So what's that one that uh, that's you know quashes all these rumors and stuff like that? Somebody Photoshop it and just send it into me, and I'll put it up and pretend that it's real. Somebody do that. I know one of you has too much time in your hands. I say nothing now until he comes back. Column is locked. Google rent <laughs> and three, three, three. Do we need an intervention for Column? I'm getting concerned by his drinking. I prefer a happy drunk Column. Yeah. He's uh, he, but he had him drank in about six months, and he said two crowns already. Look what you've driven him to. I heard everything. You heard nothing. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. Look at your phones. About forty seconds before the first set of questions were popping up on your phone, and now I'm wondering about breaking the seal. 
<laughs> there's literally a toilet three feet away from you. It's behind, it's the, behind the green screen. I mean, behind the brick wall. Do we right. need an intervention for Cullum? I'm getting concerned about it. Uh, Cullum's locked, Google rent, and 3.33. What's this 3.33 business? I don't know. Uh, right. We're going to kick into question 21. Cullum, you're going to do these 20 questions. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Look at the two of us here. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see Damien Shreen and drinking on, on, on a stream. <laughs> but he's a professional. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Right, uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to hit, hit it's 9.32. That's what we're waiting for, yeah? 33, there you go, boom. There we go. 21. Oh, 3.33. There we go. Bloomsday is a commemoration that is celebrated each year in Dublin and is named after the central character in which James Joyce book. There you go. Finnegan's Wake, Ulysses, a portrait of an artist as a young man, or Dubliners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you said the quiz was back on 3.33. I meant 9.33. God almighty, people love being pedantic, don't they? But you're, I don't know. I'm getting worried about you. Are you drunk? Are you all right? Are you drinking? What time? You said two bottles. Is it two bottles or two cases? <laughs> it's two bottles. Sir. I haven't drank in months. You sure your mouth. Ulysses, correct answer. God, you're all brilliant. Look at you all. Fancy dance. It's, uh, question 22 who was Pinocchio's land suffering father how did a oh, second Pinocchio wait for it Lorenzo Bedetto Bendetto Geppetto or Antonio Lorenzo Benetto, Geppetto Antonio I it's not coffee, coffee in my cup on streams yeah coffee with a nice old Kahlua and say right there What's this? Pinocchio quiz? There you go. Boom. Meant away. First in, you get yourself zero point. Colin O'Sullivan. <laughs> Presenting people in quiz. Who would have guessed? Not you anyway. And let's have a look. 93%. What is it with people getting that one wrong? Well done, though. That's one of the highest I've ever seen for the amount of people who are in the quiz. Yeah. 93%. Uh, Geppetto is the correct answer. 23. What does the word kosher mean? Its actual meaning. Is it humane? Traditional, bloodless, or proper? Proper. I'm going to... Are you slurring your speech? No. It just sound like this. Sure, sure. Five dollars. Get out of here. Get out of here. You got an ass. Oh, you got a book that just won't quit. I know. Simpsons reference every five minutes as well. Sorry about that. 30% uh, went with bloodless. 30% went with proper. This is a nice old split. It means proper or fit. As in, like, it is fit or proper for. Kosher. What is the only U.S. state that produces coffee? We're in a question 24. A, Florida. B, Hawaii. C, Louisiana. D, California. Florida, Hawaii, Louisiana, or California. One of those produces coffee. I'm actually liking these questions, Colin. I like them, too. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Thirty-seven percent. All right, it is Hawaii. I was going to go Hawaii too. I was like, it has to be separate to the rest yep. of America. It, it is conditions are right. Off. All out there in Polynesia, dreaming California. Uh, they're, growing, they're, growing, they're growing grass. Credifying what liquid does a chef does a chef coddle eggs in? So if you were to coddle an egg, what would you be using to coddle the Come egg? Nigel. Come on, Nigel. Come on, Nigel. Oil, milk brine or water so if you're coddling an egg do you do it in oil do you do it in milk do you do it in brine do you do it in water a b c d something to choose now you're halfway through you should be choosing your points now keeping an eye to see how people are answering yeah all of you seem to have answered at this point these the points were jumping all over the place they were going on weren't they uh, is, is it after freezing for a minute rachel refresh refresh uh 51 percent Went with milk. I think you coddle it in water, if I'm not mistaken. It's a bath of hot water. It's coddling of water. Uh, coddling an egg. Nigel, get in the chat there quick. Let us know. Or just message me. Let me know. Uh, 26. What is the square root of 484? 23. 
24, 22, or 21. Bart Simpson says, I coddle my eggs in water. How do you coddle an egg? Molly coddling eggs. In cooking, coddling an egg is to gently uh, in water. There you, go. there you go. Just below boiling temperature in and out of the shell of, of, or, or another container. Boom. Right, there we go. 62%. 22. Well done. 27. Which of the following countries does not have a star on their national flag? This is one of those canned questions I bought. Hmm. Stupid egg shortage, says Ashley Desmond. Mexico, Cuba, Paraguay, or Chile. Rachel ah. Dowd. Sorry about that. We'll, we'll get you sorted afterwards anyway. Just get back onto us later on. Always do refresh if you see any bit of a slowdown, Rachel. Uh, 44 Mexico. Well done. It's an eagle, isn't it? It's an eagle in the middle. I think so. Um, holding a snake, as far as I remember. It is Marco Polo International Airport serves which city or served which city? Is it air travels ruined? Naples, Venice, Seville, Lisbon. That's the end of, I'd say, 99 cent flights, is it? Are we looking at Yeah, the snake, or the, the eagle has a snake in its mouth. There go. Are you looking it up, are you? Yeah, it looks it up, see? That's going mad. Marco. Polo. <laughs> duplicate. Nope. Is it? No, we haven't had a duplicate before. We haven't, I haven't seen that one. No. 66% went for Venice. Ashling Devonsman called back out Polo, and it is indeed the right answer. Uh, 29. Which of the following people did not invade Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> Romans, Vikings, Celts, or Normans? Which one of those didn't or didn't bother? Tried, uh, tried and failed or just didn't bother? Taco Man Eternal is very happy that Ashley Ashley Devlin <laughs> called back his polo. Yeah! Yeah! Um, 82% said the Romans. What have they ever done for us? <laughs> Leaving us alone is what I'd like to say. Leaving us alone. Man, we've been invaded by lots of people. <laughs> yeah. Halfway through the round. Question 30. Um... What was the what is more common name for tox anemia? Toxemia. Is it toxemia? Toxemia. You're throwing an extra N in there now. Toxemia. Toxemia. Is it skin cancer, lung cancer, food poisoning, blood poisoning? Yeah, Pat, laughing at that beforehand. Very harsh. Yeah, it's coming up before, but we got it right this time. Mm. What's coming up before? The Marco Polo. I think we might have we were close to have asking at least 10,000 questions at this point between all different quizzes and stuff 79% blood poisoning <laughs> Shane Weldon he's definitely locked <laughs> I've drank with Shane He, I've got stories on him so he might be quiet I took him to <laughs> I had to I had to take care of him when we went to see Hall and Oates in Manchester and we got 31 <laughs> you page I thought it said taxidermy. So did I for a second tackle. No, I did too, and I wrote the question. <laughs> 31. Dentophobia is a fear of what? Dentophobia. But I guess I, I was <laughs> it was a stuffed question. Is it car crashes, teeth, dentists, or toothbrushes? Are dentophobias phobists are scared of car crashes, teeth, dentists, toothbrushes? <laughs> I guess, if I had to guess, I'd say teeth. No, dentists. Damn it. You can have a fear of teeth and not be afraid of dentists, but you can't have dentophobia and, be, you know, not be afraid of a dentist. You have to be afraid of a dentist to have dentophobia. 32. In which year did Robbie Williams officially rejoin? Take that. Remember there was a brief period of time where he, re he, he rejoined them? He can alternate. 2012, 2010, 2008, and 2006. If Jim and Danny are playing, they hate year questions. They'll always give out about them. 
I don't know. Note in your book there, Colin. An S after Williams, 32. Just if you want to use it for something. Yeah. No? I'm just going to burn all the questions afterwards. <laughs> just burn your laptop again. Burn my laptop. It's on the way out anyway. This laptop is screaming at the moment. 47% win for 2012. Oh, no, 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 no. 2010 is the correct answer. Uh, 33. Steve Fawcett was the first to circumnavigate the world alone and nonstop using which mode of transport? 100%. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. An aeroplane, a yacht, a balloon, or a helicopter? Calling it. 100%. Without stopping, like. He's dead now. <laughs> that one was a bad one there. It looked like you were going to go to bed. How do you know I'm not in bed? Oh, <laughs> the studio to the bed. Thing. Shane Weldon, I take it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get down there now off that high horse of yours, Shane Weldon. Oh, 70% went for a balloon. You're right. It is a balloon. Pat and, was expecting her. Yeah. Shane Weldon now says, I take it back. Yeah, I you're know. better. I had to carry him up to his room. 34. What nationality was the founder of the modern psychoanalysis? Sigmund Freud. So where was Sigmund Freud from? Psychoanalysis. <laughs> Austrian, German, Swiss, or British. Give it a go there, Pat. Fast. Go on. Psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis. <laughs> I can't say it. Psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis. I can't say it. Psychoanalysis. <laughs> Psychoanal. Yes, it's psychoanal. <laughs> Elis. <laughs> Polo. Uh, he was Austrian. He was Austrian. Oh. 35. Of the Freud man. 20, 35. What is the largest living species of fish? Basking shark, whale shark, sturgeon, or blue marlin? Well, technically. Waiting for it. Fifty-seven percent. That's the right answer. It's that one with the huge mouth. Fifty-seven percent. Not counting anyone sitting on the bench, how many players are there in a rugby team? So on the plate, on the playing field, how many teams? How many? Oh, get it right here now, because people. Yeah, not counting anyone sitting on the bench, how many players are there on a rugby team? So rugby team. Yeah. Not the two teams, just one team. 15, 17, 11, 13. I'm expecting high numbers here, Pat. Yeah. We we like I think there wasn't there like a ninety three percent a minute ago. That's really good. Oh, we was it 98? No. Union. A oh, rugby team. Now they're asking Union. League or Union? Is oh. There... I'm assuming the answer is going to be 15. Yes. Can I have to look it up now? It's 15. No? For Union? Yeah, Union is that. There's 13 in a rugby league team. Oh, so, I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if it comes down to it, I'll go back and I'll check it all and I'll download the quiz and I'll, I'll give the people who got 13 who need that. You know in the book, 36. 36. So if it does come down to it, I will give you the points. So there's no worries. Don't be worrying. I'll make sure that you get those points if 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 it if it's needed. Moving on, uh, thirty-seven. Felix Baumgarter set the world record for skydiving in twenty twelve by jumping from a height of how many kilometers above the Earth? This is rounded. It's not kilometers. It's kilometers. Kilometers. Someone says rugby isn't even a sport. Twenty nine kilometers, forty nine kilometers, thirty nine kilometers, fifty nine kilometers. Yeah, who watches rugby league? Hands up, who watches him? No, I don't. Who watches the egg chasers anyway? <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, ooh, look at that. It's 39 kilometers, by the way. Well done. 38. 38. Which of the following has the longest flight distance? If you were to fly, which one would be longer? From Heathrow to Rio de Janeiro, Heathrow to Mumbai, Heathrow to Cape Town, or Heathrow to New York? Is that as a crow flies or an actual uh, flight distance? So, yeah, once again, if there was any issue with anyone's, any, and anyone's short points later on when it comes to being in the top three and that rugby question comes into question, I will make sure that you get sorted for it. So don't worry about it. Uh, very calm these days. 37% said Heathrow. Ooh, Rio. Oh. We're from Rio and oh, that's the Cape wrong Town. answer. Heathrow's a Cape Town is longer. Um, the, the, the strange thing about it is when people look at a map, Europe is much bigger than it actually is represented. It, it, it's, it's way smaller in real life. So Africa is huge. What huge. are you telling me, Colm? The internet lies. Yeah. Me? Oh my God, I don't believe it. How many transfers? Yeah. Oh, Larry Lee wants to know. Oh my God. There's one, isn't there? 31% got it right. 39, two way away from the last part of the round. Which Disney film features the cat called Sergeant Tibbs? What's this, a Disney quiz? No, Cinderella, not... Peter Pan, 101 Dalmatians, like the Lion King. E, Pinocchio. <laughs> no, there's no Pinocchio on this one. Pinocchio. Keep your nose out of it. Sing a song, Sing a song there, Colin. No. <laughs> this love. No. 66% said 101 Dalmatians. Dalmatians are right. Yeah. 40. Well Question 40. Last one before we have a break again. Who played 007 in the film on Her Majesty's Secret Service? Sean Connery, George Lazenby, Timothy Dalton, or Roger Moore? Oh, Moira Riley. She loves her a bit of Roger Moore. Hot pants. In hot pants. Short shorts. Who loves short shorts? Roger Moore loves short shorts. <laughs> you had to be there last Tuesday. You weren't. Uh, ooh, 47, 42% to George Leeson B. Yep. Well, Great answer. He only did one film. He was he was um, too scared to do more films, even though they offered him like a huge amount of money. And uh, he turned it all down because he thought James Bond would become... Uh, with the Cold War and all this kind of coming on, he thought that like people would. They, he was a hippie, and he listened to his hippie friends. They all Moira, Moira Riley. Oh, I got to mention without even saying it. <laughs> we love short shorts. We love short shorts. Right, let's get the scoreboard up. Let's see where everybody is. Don't forget if if, if there's if there's something in between you that uh, is after uh, Dave Crowley, forty nine. He's only dropped one. Connor Fahey's dropped two. And he's now got 37. And Shatner's bassoon have dropped out of second and they're into third. They're not answering fast enough, but they've got 34 questions right. If you look there, even Nicole Burton has 35 out of the questions of far asked. She is doing quite well, even though she's down there. So it, she just needs to be a little bit faster. Uh, again, they're like Dave and Moore. Is it Mersh? I think they've answered 32. So they're they've, they still doing very, very well. 32 as well for Keith Moynihan. And then we're into the 20s here now as well. We're, uh, we moved down. Ah, oh, X Ashe 12 Musk. It's good to see that that baby has joined us. <laughs> In it to flin it. The triers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just download the uh, crowd. Quarantine, quarantines. Kieran and the Headwreckers at home making Corona babies. My God. So I'm just download the crowd activity there for that question. So you might, if you can just pop me off for a second, I won't be saying anything. He's in the background still, so he can still see me and hear me. So I can't say much about him. Okay, he's gone now. What a dick. Uh, radio. What broadband, what broadband are the winners using? I don't know, but I want to get on it. How long we got, guys? Um, you've got. Will we say? Oh, that time went quick. We'll say nine. We'll give us. We'll see. We'll, I don't know if we'll do that. Will we do the halftime stuff now? Does anybody want to jump in for halftime? We do a twenty-second challenge. You win a 
a voucher. I'm going to go out there and say 25 euro voucher. Anybody want to join in? Join in the stream? Simon Murdoch, I know you're good for it. Come on. Damien Shreenan, come on. Even if it's just a 2v, I want to battle you off against each other. I'm actually going to message him now. It's the patch show now. There's no stop me now. So I know Damien Shreenan is watching now. Do you want to hop on and do a, a competition, Damien? Simon, come on. Kate O'Donoghue, happily would. Right, Kate, you're in. Kate, drop me a message there. I will send you on a link. And you can join us in the chat. Open up all my pages. I'm just going to send Damien Shreen one anyway. Uh poo, 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 poo. inbox. Oh, I think we've we two in so far. Put column in the background. So we have Damien, sent to you. Kate. Done. Shane Weldon, are you still just sitting back there doing nothing? Simon Murdoch, you gonna... Come on, Simon. No pressure, Simon. <laughs> Richard Dole, do you want to get in? Richard Dole, have no problem getting you in. Richard Dole, you're gonna you're gonna get in as well. I'm gonna send you a link and you will appear uh, in the background there. Oh call him messaging yeah. me. Bring me back. I was just saying John O'Manny there saying, Wow, dead air. So I was trying to I was, I was like, bring me back. You're not talking. You're well, not talking chatting away i'm just trying to get people in here so i've got kate o'donoghue and um, who else i get rachel dole a demo's in i think he's actually in the stream there somewhere bring him in he said he's here i can't see him ah, look if it's you and me against each other we just do it boom 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 boom, boom. Oh, I didn't get the link. Ah, what was he saying? Oh, I thought I did. Come there you on. go, Daryl. <laughs> the end? Uh, I'm just making sure. Is there anybody else that joined in? Oh, we have Kate E, as I call her, everyone. She's in the Katie. background. Cass, it is Katie. Hi. 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 How are you? Everybody Good. can see you now. Oh, hold up. We'll have Damien Shreenan. Oh, of course, Damien has to go uh, portrait with his phone. Oh. <laughs> I just, just rotated. Yeah, oh yeah. and Damo. Oh. Right, have we anybody else that joined us? I'm going to actually just click. <laughs> there, okay. I just, just rotated. Right. Um, if, if you do have a sound, if you can turn on the sound on the device that you're watching is out of the board. Oh, stop the recording. Move you over. a million of you inside there now. Uh, so how many do we have? We've got three. That's enough for me. Rachel, how, how's the pizza? Oh, where have we got? Who have we got? Right, Grant. So we have Rachel, Damien, and we're just going to battle the three of you off because Simon Murdoch, Damien, as you know, is a dick and wouldn't come on. Chase. Oh, he's a cheat. He's a cheat. <laughs> so what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm going to type her names in here into my little uh, thing. We got uh, Kate, Damien. You may have to um, put a running around there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I just want you to I just check for a second. Is the room is the house clean day before I go running out? No, no, no. You can run away and come back then afterwards. All right. I will make sure I spell uh, Rachel's name right. Doesn't it? There's an E at the end of Rachel there. Don't want to do that. Do you mean an injustice? That's very, very important. I know. I know. I know it is. Right. So I'm just going to open this up. So no, I, I, saying, three times I've told you, message me. I'm going to send him the link there. You, is, 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 I didn't see him. I'm, I'm going to add his, in his name there quickly. Simon, just to make sure he does join us. Right, and I'm also going to put this up. Well, I'm I'm just so up this Look at this. How fancy is this? -na -na -na. Might have to kick one of us. So what's going to happen is you're going to get 20 seconds uh, to do a chore, and you're going to get points the quicker you do it. And <laughs> hold on, what prize do you want to give him? I said a voucher. 25 euro voucher. 25 euro voucher. Yes. That's all right. That's all right. Wants to say no to that. So the person whose goal is, we're just going to throw the rest of you backstage and then add you in as it's your goal. Uh, right. Is Simon going to join us up? We'll do Simon last. I've so. sent him the link. I don't know what he's going to do, but we'll give him a few ah. seconds. We'll just we'll use Kate's up for the moment. Right, Kate, this is going to be your go, right? So you get 20 seconds to do this task. Okay. Okay. No sure pressure. I can actually hear you. All right. Um, okay. I will give you time. I'll stop it, show it to you, and then start the clock, and you'll get 20 seconds to do one of these things. Get a spatula. You've got 20 seconds to get a spatula. Go, 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 go get a spatula. Go. I'm on a bunk bed, not a hole. You're on a bunk bed. Oh, my. <laughs> get, spin it again. Spin it again. No, 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 it's getting nothing. No point for you. No point. Look at David Sheenan. He's up off the coach already. He's drinking. Nah, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, David Sheenan, we're going to throw you in there. Uh, okay, we'll knock you over there for the moment. Right, Damien. Ready. I hope it's a child or something. Name 10 Premier League football clubs. Go. At Arsenal, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Man United, Man City, Leicester, uh, West Ham, West Brom, mm -hmm. um, Burnley, uh, Everton. Yep, uh, he's on 10. 10. <sighs> Just a boat. I'd love to know how Katie and <laughs> Rachel would have gone on with that one. Uh, right, Rachel, we're going to spin that for you and get you in there. I'm ready. You're ready. Name 10 female singers. Uh, Beyonce, Pink, uh, Cameron Diaz. Oh, no, that's not a singer. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, um, Brianna. <laughs> um, don't hit me. <laughs> I think I heard Adele there. I'm sure I heard Adele. <laughs> just give her five. Just give her five there. No, five. No. Gets nothing though. Nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. Yeah, it's a lot different oh, there, isn't it? Nothing oh. forever. <laughs> Donna Carnid has pointed out that West Brom aren't a Premier League. So no oh. points. You named West Brom. Oh, jeez. You named West Brom. He's, he gets zero as well now. He's getting zero now. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to keep... her. And we have in. Look at this. It's <laughs> <laughs> Simon Murdoch. How are we doing, Finally. buddy? Finally. Oh, yeah. Big cheater. I, the baseball well, I just came on to, here. To, to tell Damien that my solicitors are going to be in touch because that's sort of libel right. and that sort of slander. I won't stand for it. <laughs> right. You ready for this, Simon? Go for it. Get a measuring tape. Yes. <laughs> Anyone who's bought a house recently always has measuring tapes around the place. It's very dark in here. Sorry, hold on. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> that was she, she was so sure it was there. You took it to Woody the last time. You know you did. <laughs> you know the way everyone has the the drawer under the cutlery drawer that's just full of rubbish. <laughs> Right. Chinese boxes, Chinese boxes, trying to sort everything out. I thought the measuring tape one would have been the hardest one. He's a lovely kitchen, doesn't he? You've a lovely kitchen. Oh, very fancy, yeah, very nice. Right, we're gonna get rid of uh, Simon, get uh, Kate back in again. 
Hopefully, this is just a naming something, Kate. Hopefully. Taking you out. Uh, right, ready to go. All right, I'm ready to sign. Get oh, oh, another one. Get a toilet roll. Come on. I'll give you a couple of seconds to get off the bunk. I'll give you, I'll give you 10 seconds to get off the bunk. I don't want you killing yourself. You're gone. <laughs> I'm going to hit the ground. <laughs> If I see a toilet roll appear in front of this in the next, I see her. Oh, look at that! That, <laughs> that is impressive. Do we have a winner? Oh no, we're going to do the second round. Second round. Damien right. Shreen's going to come back in for another one here. Yeah, thanks, Donica. You get nothing, by the way. You're down to zero. Donica hung you out to dry there. I'm going to take them zero again. Remember, you get rid of yours. Name 10 Netflix shows. Christ. Uh, Stranger Things, Making a Murderer, uh, Tiger King. Come on, Jesus, you watch more telly than me. Um, that, that, the Blacklist. The Blacklist. That's not a Netflix show. That's what they stole from something. Um, uh, Homeland is not. Let's see. Oh, oh, forget it. We, yeah, we're done. I'd say. Nah, you've got nothing there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Donica. <laughs> and Simon, the... Simon's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll take Damien off before he says any more. There is a quiz starting in a few minutes, just so you know, guys. Rachel, uh, let's hope you know more about other things than singers. <laughs> Can I grab something? That's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family yeah, show, Rachel. Don't. <laughs> Bro, this is a family <laughs> show, Rachel. <laughs> right. Oh, still... Get out of it. Name 10 cars. Okay, uh, Audi, BMW, Honda, Ford, um, Mitsubishi, Chevrolet, um, oh, Ferrari, uh, Tesla, um, uh, Toyota, yeah. Mitsubishi, oh, Nissan. Uh, yeah, you got Nissan. It, right? <laughs> hey. Just a boat. Just a boat. It's a bit stress. It's very stressful, isn't it? It is. <laughs> right, we're going to kick you back out, get Simon back in it. Time to redeem yourself. Can I just uh, say that Damien Shreenan's WhatsApp and me on the slide here saying <laughs> we could do a way better quiz than them. Oh. Just so you know. Right? Uh, hold up a second here. <laughs> <Any shreen? laughs> <laughs> 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 right, I I'm a bingo man. <laughs> is it? All right, Damien. Just wait till we get into radio, Simon. Just wait till we get into radio. Whatever, I, I, I do enjoy listening to Ray Foley in the morning, to be honest. Oh. 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 Get him out of here. Kick him out of here. Out three, by right. Uh, let's go. Let's see if Simon can get this. Name 10 80s movies. Uh, Back to the Future 1, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 3. No. Um, no. 80s. Top Gun. Dirty Dancing, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, E.T., uh, oh my God, Never Ending Story. Um... Nope, you lost. <laughs> it's the man that used to DJ 80s nights. And <laughs> yeah. that were hanging up on the wall. Tunes, lads, in fairness. Right, let's see what that does to score. I think Kate is after winning something. Let's, let's get rid of this board to get us all back in here again. And add you, and add you, and add you. Um, so out of all of us, it's, Brady bunch. Of course, this, it's the story of a lovely lady. Um, radio at the moment, as I said, should be from the side. Kate has actually won. She got 100 points. Damien got zero. Uh, Rachel, 26. And Simon got 14 points. So, Kate, you're after winning yourselves at 20 euro. Um, 25 euro. 25 euro. Well done. Well done. Kate, congratulations. Oh, well done. Yeah, well done. To hear Simon. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. Fine, whatever. Well, yeah. Right. Uh, Right, we're going to kick you all off again. Go back to the quiz. Right. Um, we'll see you there in a second. Kate, next set of questions are coming up at 10 past. 10. 10 past for the next lot of questions. That went all right. 
<laughs> so yeah. I love the way Simon would have actually had serious amount of points if it, like <laughs> when he got to the drawer, he just went, "What is it? <laughs> what is it?" The same reaction everyone would give when they get to that drawer. Next lot of questions are going on at ten past ten past. So you got about three minutes. Two. Oh, two. It's nearly. It's nearly. It's nearly eight minutes past at this point. All right, pedantic column. Well, I'm after getting one of those fake friends requests on uh, Facebook. Oh, nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. Join me on a chat. Join me in a chat. Uh, we've got 70 questions yet. So we'll do... Will we just bang out the last 30 now? That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> it seems like a lot. Yeah, we'll do 20 and then we'll do 10. Yeah, we, we... Laszlo, belter that, lads. Enjoy that. That was brilliant. Did you enjoy that, lads? Something different. Breaks it up. Gives away some money. People mightn't be the most quizzical, but have a bit yeah. of fun. Let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. So Let's do two this. minutes left. Just yeah. two minutes left. <laughs> Let's do I'm, this. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously jacked. I'm jacked. You do the next 20, I'll take the next 10, I'll take them home. I can do 15 and 15 and then 5 and 5. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, yes, please do them all in one. <laughs> no, nah, Brian, we'll slow it down. We'll give you a tiny break in between just so you can run out. Um, name of your sex tape. I didn't know what I said. Let's do this. Drive it on with the 13. That dishwasher won't empty itself. Dave, at this point, the dishwasher won't be emptied until Sunday, so you might as well just sit down and enjoy it, buddy. Right. One minute to go, almost. It's time to start looking at your phones again. Let's lick some arse. I mean, kick some arse. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, and uh, yeah, we might do that every week and give away a little voucher. <laughs> you were two coronas, Colm. You are not allowed to take it home. Hmm? You just flow. You had two coronas, Colm. You are not allowed to take it home. And taking his baby home. Thank you, guys. Right. Kate. Well done, Kate. You got yourself a twenty-five euro voucher. Not bad. Damien Sweeney robbed. Well, we didn't rat you out. Somebody else did. Your uh, co and your new quiz. <laughs> yeah, you said that Simon. Hope Name you of your. Never mind, you won't remember what you said. Look at your phone, 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 look at your phone. Robert O'Mara, our stage director, is making us remember that we are on a time. Thanks, Rob. Here we go. 10 seconds. I'm not on my phone. I'm on a PC. That's fair enough. Look at your PC. 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 41. I'm going to get rid of the scoreboard so it runs smoothly. So that'll go off and then we'll pull up the first question. Right. Off you go. I'll do this. You do. You got it. I do this. I do this. 15, 15, Colm. 10 and 10. Are we doing all 30? No. We'll take a break. I'll do 20. We'll... Size Does Matter was the movie poster tagline for which film? Did I press the button? No. Cloverfield, Pacific Rim, King Kong, Godzilla. You need to be faster there with that button. Cloverfield, Pacific Rim, Job, King Kong, Godzilla. Bum, bum, bum. Colin the remix. Not quite the same as the door. Look at your phone. No. Look at the PC. Look at the PC. Look at the PC. Look at the PC. Do it wide eyed. Look at the PC. Look at the PC. Look at the PC. Uh, 42% said King Kong. Godzilla. Godzilla. The 90s one with Matthew Broderick. 42. This religion observes this, their Sabbath from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday. Is it Buddhism, Shinto, Judaism, or Taoism? Taoism. Cheers, Pat. Cheers. Oh, oh, no. Cheers, God. I only had three Coronas left. They're all gone now. The m -m -m Corona. 74% said Judaism. That is the correct answer. 43. At which shop would you collect points on your advantage card? Is Everyone's it? now going into their wallet. <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> Done. Tesco. Super value. Boots. I know because they answer me every time. I go, no, my wife. That's her. Well, if, you keep, well, if you keep the receipt, um, as you can <laughs> only, uh, 
Your wife can put the points of your girlfriend or your partner can put the coins back onto him afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, said boots. If you keep the receipt, you. Uh, 44. What year were Leave Get Out, JoJo, and All Falls Down Kanye West released? Leave Get Out. Was that that song? Get Out Right Now. Was it 2008, 2000, 2004? Let's know every single time in boots. I know everything. It is it's a receipt. But then you see the points that they get. No, G- you have it on Gillian your app. Gets, no, Jillian gets the thing in the door. Then, like once a year or every couple of months, like, and she, she's like, "Oh yeah, that's a that's seventy euros worth of points." And you're like, "What? Seventy bucks?" She's like, "Yeah, I'll buy buy something nice out of that now." Get nothing in boots for that. Nothing. Sixty five percent said two thousand and four. Correct. Well done. Jesus. They're well spread out there to make it a little bit more difficult, to be fair. It wasn't like 2005, 2006. How many years is an eon? Roughly. Roughly. Roughly, roughly Ashley. <laughs> a zillion, a million, a billion. Zillion, million, billion, billion. Right. Patrick, you put the virtual one on your phone and the other one keeps the physical one on you. Yeah, I wanted to do that, but my wife put it, the app on her phone and also kept the card. And also, I only go into boots like once a year. My wife is now looking at me. It's true, you know. Uh, 48% said a million. It's a billion. Not much between them. There is. Uh, 46. Which children's movie released in 2007 did Jerry Seinfeld co write? Was it? Easy. Come on. Easy. In the night for this. Shark Tale, B movie, Over the Hedge, Open Season. It's an easy one. It's not going to happen, though, is it? We, we won't get 100. Not a hope. We'll get about 90. 90%? I, well, can we do better than the 93 we had a minute ago? Don't think so. Let's have a look. Oh, my Lord. B movie is a correct answer. 47. Name the company from the famous slogan, buy it, sell it, love it. eBay, car trader, adverts that I done deal. <laughs> Was expecting the B movie, the B movie, or the B movie, as somebody just said there, that one. Um, 74% eBay is the correct answer 48 who was elected as the first woman president of the Irish Republic in 1990 was it Mary Black Mary Robinson Mary McLeese I love the way Samantha White was expecting me to be evil and write like B.E. movie B.E.A. movie I'm not like that you are. the Star Wars thing is painted me very poorly but I see I just didn't understand what how big or I thought everyone was a Star Wars nerd who watched Star Wars. I only four days to watch nine films. Uh, ninety-two percent. Who thought it was Mary Black? <laughs> <laughs> Someone out there now just pressed the button by mistake. It has to be only one person pressed the button. I have to look it up. I have to look up the. What, don't stick there. We go to the question setup. Ninety-two percent said Mary Robinson. Uh, five what people. Five people. <laughs> My people thought Mary Black. My people went for Mary Black. I know that name. Uh, is Mary? It's a Mary. <laughs> is the number one square on a standard roulette board red or black? One, red or black. And we've got white, black, green, or red. <laughs> nice one there, Colum. Oh, someone said, "What's Mark McLeese?" So Mary McLeese might have been. Colum, have looked your question there. A note number forty nine there. Oh, <laughs> well, let's see who's going to choose white and green here. You know, someone's going to choose it like, oh, Lord. <laughs> there you go. It's white and green. Um, didn't do the Star Wars quiz. I've done it before. The evil, the evil way, uh, like that. White and green uh, and people still choose them. Uh, 6% went red. That was the correct answer. 50 Name the TV show Charlie Sheen starred in following his axing from Two and a Half Men. It was just shit. 
Was it Running Wild, Meet the Millers, King of Queens, Anger Management? They're all real shows. I didn't make them up. Guys, I'm still sweating after that. I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's still in a panic. Adele, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Cameron Diaz, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> and that was the third guest sorry, as well. Rachel. Sorry, Rachel. Uh, There's only about a thousand people watching. It's fine. Nobody saw it. Tiger blood. Uh, 80% said anger management. That, that was the correct good. answer. It had like 50 episodes in its second season and then it was cancelled. 51. It's thinking. New page. I'm just going to wait for this. In 1994, a West Virginia prison inmate braided this together into a rope, scaled the wall and escaped. What is it? Dental floss, cotton wool, hair, bed sheets. Hmm. Did you hazard a guess yourself? I, I just go way out in the limb and say hair. Cotton wool. Ooh, let's see what people said. Dental Pre floss. People. Look at that. 33, 32, 33. Nobody said cotton wool. <laughs> um, let's see. Dental floss. Dental plan. Dental plan. It's a big places. A lot of people said it at home. 52. How many seasons did How I Met Your Mother run for? This is a Colum Lockie Eats special. He chose it in every time. Is it seven? Every time. Yeah. Five, every nine. quiz. Every quiz. Star Wars quiz. In how many seasons did <laughs> How I Met Your Mother? Who said Mary Black? Only. <laughs> Only a woman. Only a woman. Only a woman. <laughs> Only a woman. I don't stand by Darren's comment, by the way. Sexist Darren. Um, 62% said nine. Yep, that was seven too many. Well done. 53. Ich bin ein Berliner. Who uttered these famous words in a speech in Berlin on the 25th of June, 1963? Was it? Winston Churchill, Grandpa Simpson, John F. Kennedy. Who <laughs> says Howard Big Mother had 10 seasons? No, it had nine. There you go, Paddy McClurt. The nine. 10 seasons. Surely nine too many. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, the first five, five or six seasons were good. 79%. John F. Kennedy. Correct answer. 54. There are normally 12 full moons in a year, but what term is used to describe a 13th full moon that can occur in some years? Is it bright moon, red moon, blue moon, pink moon? <laughs> He's a Nazi. Let's get him. <laughs> Look out, Itchy. He's Irish. Um, which He's is a nasty get him. <laughs> it be nine million. 65 blue moon. Once in a blue moon. 55. What year were Like I Love You, Justin, and Without Me, Eminem? <laughs> Pass. Just find it. Justin. Justin. Woohoo! <laughs> Is it 2012, 2002, 2008? Justin. Woo! It's gotta be May. Never posted that. It is May. I know. It's not gotta be. It is. <laughs> Just Justin. Ready? 64% saying 2002 is the correct answer. 56. The Starry Night is a famous painting by Vincent van Gogh featuring a view from a window in which country is this view? Is it Italy, Netherlands, France? Simon Murdoch. Drums! Do, do, do. Drums! Justin Timberlake. It's on. It's, I'd, I'd say for... 
Mm. Every year, I, I, every gig I've ever played, I don't think I, I've, I've always played a Justin song. Good old, what's that up around? 108, 109? Oh, Like I Love You is about 115, I think. Is it? Hmm. Uh, oh, I think Rock Your Body. Like, I, oh, am I? I know I'm thinking. Uh, 60% Netherlands would think BPMs for nerds. It is France. 115. Boom. What's uh, uh, Rock Your Body? Oh, Rock Your Body. Gonna rock your body. Oh, 102. I'm going to have a guess. Uh, Ryan Stiles, Colin Mockery, Greg Proops, Clive Anderson, and Drew Carey are all cast members of which US and UK comedy game show is it? It's oh, new you. Mock the week. Whose line is it anyway? It's 101. I always go for 24 carat. Great. Great. Two two great songs. in together there now. Rock Your Body is 101. Dookie, dookie. Stats for nerds. I'm good. I'm good at the old BPM. If you ask me songs, I'm normally fairly good with knowing the BPM. As long as I know the song. Billy Jean. Uh 116. I think it's 117. I'll let you off. <laughs> uh 71% said whose lines anyway? It is. 117. 58. In Murder She Wrote. God bless a murder she wrote question. <laughs> God what bless her. Of the fictional town where Jessica Fletcher lives and loads of people die. Is it Cabot Cove, Castle Rock, Collinsport? Easy one. 90%. This is issue to every family in Ireland, for God's sakes. Are you even Irish if you haven't watched Murder She Wrote? It's on the whole time on TG Carr. It's great. Yeah. Or whatever it's called these days. <clears throat> Kaherji. Uh, 71% Cabot Cove. High enough, to be fair. 59. Which has the biggest population? Denmark, Austria, or Ireland? The uh, town... Ireland, Austria, Denmark in that room. The uh, the town of Cabot Cove is actually the Jaws set on uh, in the Universal Studios. I'm just wondering, Colin, should we just fly through these last 10 questions? Like 25 past 10 now. Yeah, this is getting late. But, you know, you know, no, people just people don't mind. People don't mind. Just a small, small break. What about Dave? Dave has to do the dishwasher. He's a, the dishwasher's let's forget about the dishwasher. Forget about it. You heard him. It's a note. We'll write you a note. 57% said Austria. Correct. Well done. 60. Is pumpernickel a type of <laughs> the way you said it? Bread, sausage, soup. People people are saying, take it home, Colm. Take what? The quiz. Do you <sighs> want to carry on? Will we just fly into the last 10 questions? Let us know quickly. There's no point in asking. No, they're, answer, they're answering questions. Rest of them aren't. This Friday's quiz has been more entertaining. Colm, great haircut. Uh, looking for turtle race sometime. Keep up the good work. Might, might be able to fit that in as a question. We've been checking. I, I, I've looked it up. No, we'll you take a break, though. Well, you take a break. Do a turtle race. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't to record it. I have to record it, and then people can answer and they can bet. Yeah, we don't want them to bet. We just want them to, to sit there and 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 uh, say it now. No, I'm wasting time. Us. I have a bet to go to. Sixty-five percent said bread. Pumpernickel is a bread. <laughs> right. We'll check the scoreboard. Pumpernickel. No, we need a break. Give a break. Give a break. 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 Dave Crowley, top 57 out of 60. You big cheat, Dave. I'm only, <laughs> I'm only messing. Sorry. You're probably a brain. Trisha and John. John and Annie. Speaking of, well, we probably would have won now if we'd known the Napoleon question. Whatever, John. I think Barney for the pumpernickel answer. Uh, too stressful. You need a break. They need a the break. Right. you got four minutes. Four minutes of a break. 10 30 on the button. Four minutes. Jeez, why, why even bother giving him a break, Pat? <laughs> you do know for four minutes. I was saying, bag of popcorn can be made in four minutes. Bag of popcorn, yeah. If you're going to make popcorn, now's the time to do it. Do it. Give the bag a I shake. Have... No break. Come on, lads. It'll be a small break. It's only a small break. Donkey's moving up. Dave, four minutes. Plenty of time. Uh, oh, my brother wants to know does Angela Lansbury have a summer home in Cork? Because uh... she does. Uh, Richie rented a car to her. 
she used to, she doesn't anymore, but she does call back every so often. We were picking up, uh, what's his name? The, the, the Michael Jackson impersonator. What's his name again? Navi. Navi. We were picking him up in the airport and he comes out and he, he doesn't look like Michael Jackson at all when he's not dressed up, but he comes out of the, uh, the airport depart or arrivals and oh, there's, a, there's an old lady next to him. And I said, and I, I, and I knew her and I nodded and I said, how are things? And she was like, fine. And she walked on by. It was Angela Lansbury. But it took me ages to figure out. And then he was like, yeah, I was sitting next to her on the flight on the way over. She was just coming Angela, over to Cork to check out her Angela home. She live in Connor. She did. Yeah, she lived in Connor for a long time. Then she went back in LA. She's very, very, very old. Angela Lansbury lives full time in Ballycotton. I don't think she lives there anymore. Lives there anymore. I don't think she lives there anymore. She's too old. She doesn't travel as much. No, she's, she, I think she's in, in, I think she's back in LA. She was doing, she moved back to LA. Uh, after a while to, to do more stage work, I think. Yes, below looking, how old is Angela Lansbury? 94. She is... 94! I've got every season of Murder, She Wrote on DVD, man. That doesn't necessarily mean you should know her age, you big weirdo. Yeah, I know, yeah. About a minute and a half before the questions arrive on your phone. So let us know if you think Cullum's a weirdo with his uh, love of Angela Lansbury. Angela did a work good video for old people. It's absolute gold. Well, Cullum, there's something you don't have on the DVD. Well, that's, you know. my, that's my viewing after. That's, so. your, that's your Christmas present sorted. Cullum's is Angela Lansbury. Mine is... Uh, What's her name? Oh, my, um, I, don't have a secret, I, I don't have a secret crush. My crush was Alicia Milano on uh, Who's the Boss? Come on, like, still is. My mom was obsessed with Murder, She Wrote. She used to record it every week. It's still a great show, Shane. She can have my DVDs if she wants them. I've them all backed up. Can I borrow the box set? You can, as I said, if you want to borrow all of the box, there I couldn't get them in Ireland, so I had to buy them in uh, the Netherlands. So I used to when I, every time I went on a trip to the Netherlands, I'd buy one or two of the, uh, the DVDs. So they have like a twenty to say, and there's on the side of them and stuff like that, like for what whatever season they are. Uh, but everything's in English, so if you want to borrow them, you can. They have Dutch subtitles. Should you want to turn them on? Right, look at your phones, look at your phones, look at your phones, look at your phones. In about 10 seconds, you're going to start getting the first question. And 10 seconds after that, Pat's going to press the button. I'm going to take the last 10 questions home, and we're going to find out, and we're going to just give Dave money later on, because he is way too far ahead to be caught up at the moment. But Trisha and John, um, they're, 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 they're holding on to second place at the moment. Let's do this. And, of course, if the points that are needed from the rugby one make it any difference, we'll talk later on. There's a claim to fame. I worked in BT's Patrick Street when I was 16, sold Andy Lansbury two pairs of sunglasses. Lovely lady. Oh, there you go. Uh, 61. Ready? 61. You're gone, Pat. Oh, you're back. Robin and Mary, look at your phone, look at your phone, look at your phone. My fucking bill, Colin. Which 2002 James by Madonna? What's this, a band quiz? The world is not enough. Tomorrow never dies. Golden nah. or die hard or die another day. I <laughs> said die hard. So world is not enough. Tomorrow never dies. Golden eye. Die Golden hard. Nah. There we go. Dave Moriarty straight in. What's this? A James Band quiz. Golden, Golden nah. Alyssa Milano. Did you start your crush on her from watching Commando? No, I wish she was Commando. No, I mean, uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was who's the boss? It was who's the boss? Right? I'm sure, I grew up with her. 59% went for Die Another Day. It was an awful song. It was an awful film. It ruined his legacy. It started so well with Golden Nine, ended in such travesty. Question to 62. Who was the second wife of Henry VIII? Catherine Howard, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, or Catherine Parr? Adele made the best James Bond song. Yeah, fairly close to being... With the sky fall. Your man, Chris Cornell, did a great uh, song as well. Rachel Dove. What is this, a quiz? Yes, the answer is Cameron Diaz, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You never let that down. 70% and Boleyn. And Boleyn. Perfect. Well done. Did she have like six fingers or something? Or was that? Like, like... Rich Boleyn. Uncle Pennybags is the official mascot of which game? Monopoly. Cluedo. Going for Broke. 
or game of life? Nice, easy questions here, Colm. I love the garbage one as well. It was a strange one from Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow. No, that was Cheryl Crow. What was the garbage one again? Stupid Bond. Na, 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 na. <laughs> James Bond. Ah. Uh, seventy nine percent Monopoly is the right answer. Every time you shoot it. Uh, sixty four. Uh, published in 2018, bowling, uh, blowing the bloody doors off and other lessons in life. It's the second autobiography. Which famous British actor? Easy. The world Morgan Freeman, that. Tom Cruise, Michael Caine, Tom Hanks. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible to get you points here. It have been so easy. The world is not enough. That's the garbage song, but I can't think of it. I can't. It's not memorable. I keep, like, you, like you say, tomorrow never dies, and you hear Cheryl Crow singing that, like, you know, tomorrow never dies. She's 95%. My name is Michael Kane. I only asked you to blow the bloody doors off. 95%. Michael Kane, boom. Yep. Both the Toms. I got them both in there for you. Uh, what is Buffy's surname in Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Not the va Vampire Lair, but Slayer. Is it Finn, Summers, McCarthy, or Giles? Bart Simpson says, I worked on the set of the most recent Bat film. It was an odd job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Lord. Samantha White, sick movie. What are we looking at there? Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. 88%. Summers. That's Six. good. So high, high, high people. A lot of people getting points right here now. 66. Xander Cage is the central character in which films? Transformers, Triple X, or the Olympus Has Fallen films? Buffy or Vampire is not the right answer, but trying. well done for trying anyway, Joseph Griffin. Griffin, what happened? Oh, that's uh, just me. It's fine. Bart Simpson is my hero. That comes from Colm O'Sullivan. So he got a good laugh off that. Lander Cage is the reason why that Bond film went to crap that I was talking about earlier on. Because when that came out, they decided they had to try and make it a bit more kind of like triple X-y. And triple X was the correct answer. Turned out the triple X was a lot of crap and it made Bond even worse. 67. Armed and Fabulous is the full name of the 2005 movie sequel to what film? Name it. The Charlie's Angels, Miss Congeniality, The Heat, or Drop Dead Gorgeous? There's a lot of conversation going on there. I think people are getting as drunk as I am. <laughs> Not is what I'm aiming for. So, Armed and Fabulous is not Charlie's Angel sequel was called Full Throttle. The Heat hasn't got one and Drop Dead Gorgeous didn't. Miss Congeniality's Armed and Fabulous was the 2005 awful sequel to a great movie and which also starred Michael Caine. 75%. Uh, what currency do they use in Japan? This is a callback question to last week when we were asking you about another place. Is it a don, a won, a yen, or a dollar? I'm Dave O'Flynn. And someone went for the vampire lair. Saw my friend's reference, by the way. Phoebe Buffet, it's vampire lair. Yes. We you... your... I hope. It's 93%. I thought they were getting drunker. These questions. <laughs> getting smarter. Drink makes them smart. 93. Uh, 69. <laughs> How many films has Ian McKellen played Gandalf? So, is it four, six, three, or five? What's this? A Michael King quiz? But well, question 69. <laughs> Get out of it. Look, we have it nicely wrapped up in all 20 to 20 to. Look at that. The last 10 questions breeze by. It's six. He's been in all of the three Hobbit films and he was in all of the three of the Lord of the Rings films. 43% is right. Six. Right. Question. It's the final question. 70. What horoscope sign is represented by a crab? What is the chance? <laughs> crab coming up. Aries, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius. What is what? 
Because you're on about crab. The crab past you. Oh, Will Edwards. Bond yeah, quiz. Go on. He's Persam. always looking for a James Bond quiz. For Sam, who pressed Mary Black. <laughs> <laughs> I have watched up until Tomorrow Never Dies. I've watched all the double discs of every Bond film ever. All the making of features. I love the making features of, uh, of Bond films. There's so much... And that is what's missing from Netflix. And the, the crab is back. Told you, Adam. Adam, you weren't making it up. Right. Ah, you're not making it up. Correct answer. Right, scoreboard. Uh, let's have a look at the scoreboard and see who is top of that score. Who's going to be? Who? Nerd. Dave Crowley. 66. He only dropped four. We'll have to find, we'll have to find this guy. Uh, Trisha and John managed to keep into second. They get five, three, two, three. There were uh, there were six questions behind, but only about two hundred points in the difference, which means they were answering very fast, but not as fast as Dave was in getting them right. Niall right. Daly slips himself into third place. He gets himself well uh, a few bob. Well done. Uh, well done to all of you. A bit here. Yay! Well done, everybody. Uh, be quiet. Radio, uh, thank you very much for taking part, everybody. Hope you really enjoyed it. Um, thanks to everybody who took part in the halftime show. Uh, Rachel, Kate, Simon, and Damien. Well, not really Damien. Nah. Right. If he'd uh, won, we'd have still got. We still found a way of getting him out of it. Yeah, we would have. We would have rigged it somehow. Somehow. And say, spot oh, no. prizes. People want uh, spot prizes. They were expecting spot prizes. You like spot prizes. I pick a random number and pick someone at 13 or, or not 13, but I pick a, and, and give the unlucky team a, a prize. Right. Out of one and four, two, two. Pick a number or do a random sam number generator. Yep. We'll do a 25 euro gift card. Oh, between four and four and four, two, two. Great quiz, lads. More tips. 120. 120. Um, that's past it on that screen. I'll have to go into the... No, I got you there. I'm in there. Great night. A halftime show was quality TV. Yeah. We, I think we're... I have more of them kind of stuff that we could bring people in. But we're afraid somebody come on hammer drunk. On 120. Up. We could just cut them off. Uh, Michelle Comerford. Michelle I'll send Com her an email afterwards. Michelle Comerford. Congratulations. 120. Sure. Um, one for all and all for one voucher. I never won all which one it is. Hold on, did I did I say one? I did one hundred twenty. Yeah, Woo -hoo. <laughs> uh, Herself is off to watch Tiger King. Yes, uh, if you are a fan of Tiger King, we will have a Tiger Queen quiz Queen. on a Tiger Queen quiz. Tiger Queen quiz on Sunday, and um, tickets available the same place where you bought the ticket for tonight. Uh, and the Shopify, we'll be putting up a link for it anyway in the next day. So thanks to everybody for participating. Really helps us um, pay our wages and stuff. We know this one's a bit smaller, a bit more niche. But uh, if you want to have a bit of fun, come along. John O'Manny there. Did John O'Manny win? Did he? Or... Yeah. John and um... he said, like... "Lads, not wanting any cash, throw the voucher to Bar uh, draw us a voucher for Barcady Pizzas, and put the money into next Tuesday's charity." Yeah. Where did John come? John came second. Amazing. That's brilliant. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Um, radio. So, anybody? I'll be on yeah. to you. Wow. Soon. Thank you. Well done. Radio. Um, that's it. Go home. Oh, uh, did you show him the, the one after Tiger King? I did call him. Call him really loves us. I don't, just don't want to confuse people. They're I don't drunk. care. You just want to see it again. Yes. 17th of May. That's Sunday week. We will have a Brooklyn Nine Nine quiz. Na -na 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 -na. Da -na -na. Look how good the, I did a good job with the glasses. Jeez, you've got no. You've got no um, stem going to your ear. Bad Photoshop in your phone. No, I did. I, I there is a line. No, I, oh, I deleted it. I'll put I that back in. I have a 24 inch screen here now next to me. I'm looking at it and it's not there. Column. I think you're Morpheus or something like that. Right, but anyway, that's in two weeks' time. This Sunday is the Tiger King quiz. 
uh, tickets available on Shopify. That's it. We'll do more halftime shows. If you enjoyed it, I'm actually going to put up a poll and see if people enjoy the halftime shows and if we should do more of them and that kind of stuff. Um, myself and Colm are a bit tired these days. We might take a week off in the coming weeks because we are exhausted. But we might do that. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you all again soon. Oh, where's uh, Robert Amara? Robert. Where's... You should be going to credits. Robert's fired. Robert's fired. He didn't come in with the credits shout. What charity is next Tuesday? Amy wants to know. We um, we are in talks at two, one or two. We just need to, to nail them down. They need to get back to us as well. Gavin and Stacey quiz will be epic from Henry O'Rourke. Possibly. There's a lot of people actually asking for Gavin and Stacey. I, I, haven't, watched it. I, haven't, is... I haven't watched it, but I haven't watched it in ages is what I'm trying to say. But you know what? Maybe we'll do this. But we have just so many quizzes and so many people asking for us to do stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Have you sold many Tiger tickets? We've sold about enough. Six. I think about that about 60 about awesome. 60 yeah but we don't mind that quiz is just for fun and for people who are interested in those kind of things we understand that sometimes these uh oh, if you've never watched Tiger King don't do the Tiger King quiz and go I know nothing about this and What's then this? ask for a refund two thirds of the way through the quiz and then we find out you didn't even buy a ticket anyway you were just watching it for free <laughs> you know who you are we love you <laughs> Right, uh, Colm, say goodbye. I'll box the whole thing off tomorrow and join in. That's Laszlo's. They're easy enough questions, I promise you. If you've watched it at all, you should be able to have at least a running guess of questions. And you, they're not, none of them are, how many teeth does like this person have? Or how long well, does this... Set up anyway. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Right, ready to go? Might have actually... Might have thrown a few more names in here as well, Colin. Oh, hey, look. I'm watching. I will be adding new names as we go along. You know that, just, uh, just what people don't know. I can't believe Rachel said Cameron Diaz as well. Right oh, oh. Uh, Cameron Diaz. Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Kate, I'm not getting off my bunk. Oh, there's Adam Ryan still hallucinating with crabs. Give it about four hours taking orange juice, buddy. Right. Ooh, there you go. Oh, there's Kate. Exactly. Dodgy looking extras. We got a few people in there. Oh, Roger Moore short shorts fitter. Moira Riley. You made the credits. Colin Wave, goodbye to the people. Bye. We'll see you Sunday if you're doing the quiz. Bye. Copyright, Pat and Colin. Big squeeze 2020. 2020. 2020.